What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Friend, giving you that Friday energy on a Friday. This podcast is presented by Elf Cosmetics. You guys know how much we're loving Elf. It actually made me so happy. Yesterday, I was on the phone with my mom, and she was like, I ran to the store because I heard you guys on the podcast talking about Elf, and I ran right to the Elf section and got myself some products, and I was like, Mom, that is, first of all, so freaking cute. cute, and I'm so happy that you did that, and she loves them, and she's so excited, and we love the people that are tagging us, showing us that you're getting the elf products we've been loving our elf products i've been raving about the couple of products that i really love the laminate brow lamination so good if you're into that the uh brow gel that like you know you can lift your brows up the way that i like to do um not right now i told you i have to get them done getting them done today and the lip liner the primers the cleansing balm the mascara everything all their products are amazing I have the... uh, And their highlighter, too. I'm really loving the Halo Glow highlighter. The little wand is excellent. And I... I, The size of everything is great. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's easy to throw in your makeup bag for whatever moments you need. Everybody, I think, is familiar with e.l.f. They've heard of e.l.f. They've been using e.l.f. for years and years and years. And now, truly, it is better than ever, I think. Um, I had the... I put on the Lash and Roll mascara this morning. It's great. Mm -hmm. Great mascara. Um... So many great products. The Halo Glow liquid filter is also amazing. Mm -hmm. The Elf skin products are great. That's what you mentioned. The cleansing balm is part of that. But they also have a hydration mask that I've talked about Mm -hmm. for your lips. Amazing, fantastic. Lips are always feeling good when I put that on morning, night. Um, That's the, honestly, it's like my favorite part of my nighttime routine. It's after you get everything done. And the last step is you just slather it all on your right. lips and you're ready for, you hop into mm. bed, you're feeling good. And you wake the, up hydrated. Oh, that hydration mask is fantastic. There's so many great e.l.f. products. You can check them out at uh, elfcosmetics.com yep. or you can also head to the app. They have an app which mm-hmm. makes everything super convenient and easy yep. as well. Uh, and we have something, we've been teasing it, but we'll keep teasing it, but we have something fun coming up with yes. e.l.f. that Hopefully we can reveal soon. Yes, we will. And if you buy the Elf products, make sure you tag us, Elf Cosmetics. Give them all a try, guys. And office on Instagram. Let us know what you're thinking. Ready for the weekend. How are we feeling? Great. It's a beautiful day. It is gorgeous, gorgeous out. out. Wow. I, I, hit the seen... si- I hit the sidewalk and was like, hmm, this is, a, this is a good day. I wish it was staying. This temp is going to get warmer, but it's yeah. nice. Yeah. I was like, this is the most perfect weather I've ever felt in my life when I stepped outside. That's why this, that's why September, baby. It's the best month. Mm. It was beautiful, glorious, it just really gorgeous. really is. Like that, that 67 degrees crisp little bit of a little bit of a chilly breeze but the sun's still hot don't need a jacket no but i you, have my sweatshirt on you my lap because i thought it was going to be colder in here mm-hmm. yesterday it was antarctica in here mm-hmm. um and it's not as bad in here today yeah. but so how are you feeling good good having a good morning yeah weather's nice yeah i i um i'm having some issues with my with my refrigerator and oh. it's just <laughs> <laughs> is it running no it's um, <laughs> my fridge is fine. the The freezer has been broken, and the earliest somebody can come fix it is next Friday. It's just too long. That is way too long. Way too long, and I I don't be- like. I don't believe them. I just don't believe them when they say that. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's maybe it's true, mm-hmm. but when I say like my you know. Ha- ASAP, please, like, my freezer's unusable. Like, it, it's, it's, um, the alarm goes off, like, r- at random. And it's just, I don't know what happened to it. Seems unfair. But now it's just, it doesn't close all the way. It, it, it accumulated a lot of ice at a certain point. We were away for a while. And, and just, it, the whole thing, like, built up at ice and then it wouldn't close. It was shut. We yank, had to yank it open. Now I'm, like, trying to melt the inside of it. Mm. But there's no way for me to, like, turn my freezer off you know like there's no off button like just stop freezing the freezer you contacted the building it's not the building like they don't you know they don't do anything for the freezer it's like there's they they have to come service the freezer Mm -hmm. so i i've been trying to thought like i have the freezer on the highest temperature that it'll go to but it's still not like 
It's not working. But anyway, I've been waking up in the middle of the night for the last three nights because the thing starts beeping and it wakes me up. So at 4 a.m. for the last three nights, I hear beep, beep, very high pitched, Mm -hmm. annoying noise. I have to get up, turn it off. I'm gone this weekend. I feel bad for my neighbors. Like if we're gone and it goes off, there's nobody there. It's being that loud. Yeah, it's loud. It's good practice for when you have a kid. There's nobody there to turn it off. (laughs) Thanks, Noah. Like show tonight's your night. Go show. There's yeah, nobody, nobody there to shut the off. beeping off tonight. <laughs> it is brutal. <laughs> that sounds. And it's always me, by the way, because he doesn't. Hear, it doesn't wake him up. That doesn't sound. It fun. wakes me up. No, it's not. It's really not. And I'm worried that like the fridge and the freezer are in tandem because now my fridge. I don't know if I'm just paranoid now, but I feel like my fridge is getting warmer. Mm. And I'm and that's could making be. me nervous. I'm like, I have food in here. Like, you know. It could be. It's just to it's just an, a nagging issue I'm having where my freezer's unusable. I'm really trying to like get into cooking. Not mm. into cooking, but you know, at least ma- prepare myself simple foods. Mm-hmm. And I need my freezer to work. Mm-hmm. I need my freezer to work. So, tough spot. That is a tough situation and, uh, to be in. It's just the alarm because really it's it's giving me a a, a restless night's, night's sleep. I'm so sorry. So you're it's not that waking rested. up. No, because when you wake up at four and then like try and go back to bed, it's like you're then you're awake. It's like a it's, it's an, an awkward time. It's an annoying issue to have. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all I have going on in my life. Mm-hmm. I because I, I'm I have another wedding this weekend. Yeah. I had a man walk into my apartment that I didn't talk about the other day, yeah. and I remembered when I left here yesterday I was like oh fuck I didn't talk about the man walking to my apartment but when I was home so we have a keep like a keypad on our door I mean we live in a building with a doorman whatever but each individual apartment has like a keypad yeah. where you need to like type in the code to open your door and so when there's you un- no keys no keys it's a keypad okay when you unlock it from the keypad it locks back up automatically but there's an app that we have on our phones that's connected to our door. And when you unlock it on the app, it does not lock back up. When it closes. When it closes. We realized yeah, the other day when the man walked yeah. into our apartment, <laughs> I was sitting on the couch watching a Southern Charm Marathon on cable and big t-shirt, no pants, sitting on the couch, hair soaking wet, just got out of the shower. And I hear the door open and I'm like, it's 11.30, so yeah. I'm like, okay, there's what's going on? And it was like a slow open, and then all of a sudden, a, I see a dog walk in on a leash and the man to follow. And I was like, no, no, no. That's what came out of my mouth when he opened the door. Yeah, I was like, fair. no, 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 which is actually not a good sign for like, that's what I would do if there was an intruder. No, no, no. <laughs> like in that moment, I was like, yeah. wait, that's what came out of my mouth? But I, but, inst- you know, like, what, my instinct, what else is there really to say? My instinct was like, he has the wrong apartment. So I right. was like, no, no, no. You're just like, oh, get out. And then he was like, Someone oh, oh. Nice. And he was really flustered. He walked into the wrong apartment he didn't say anything. He just was like, oh, 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 and then walked out. Um, with And it kind of took too long, awkwardly long, because the dog wouldn't leave. And it was on a leash, so he had to like yank the dog out of the apartment. Um, Irrelevant question, but what kind of dog was it? Like a foo-foo Pomeranian-type oh, yeah, okay, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not my style, but yeah. cute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it just took like a little too long to get out. And it was awkward, uncomfortable, and I hysterically cried as soon as the door shut. I don't know why. Just part of me was like so flustered. I was like, <gasps> and then I was laughing after that. But like tears instantly fell from my eyes. Like, oh my god, what if? What if? Yeah. And I was not prepared at all. I gave a no, 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 and I thought there was no plan of action when that man walked through the door. And nothing. Nothing went through my brain of you think that, how am I gonna how am I gonna get out of this? Do you think that guy lives on your floor? Like, have you ever seen him before? We think, no, we haven't. He might live on the floor. I, like, I've, maybe he just got off the wrong floor. Right, the wrong floor. And just was like, sometimes you're just in a daze. That's and you what get yeah, off yeah, the, yeah. the other day. And, and like, I went to open the door and then looked at the number and realized it was the yeah, floor below me. I don't, I don't blame him. Like, maybe <laughs> there were other people. Yeah, that's. My door is like right off the elevator. So I just mm-hmm. get off the elevator. And right. Just, and sometimes when the elevator opens to a floor. And you don't realize you think yeah. you're Did going you to your press floor. The wrong number? I swear I have no idea. No one else is in the elevator. I don't know how it went to six. I must have. Yeah, I mean, I don't I, know how you must have pressed. You were in a day. Number. Sometimes you're in a daze. And I guess that's what happened with this man. And I realized in that moment that I wouldn't be good when an intruder walks in. I need to figure out a plan. 
Well, now I'm no, going to make, is just to make sure, make sure my door locked. is triple locked. Yes. I think the plan from there would, you should have run to your room and locked the door if it was an, an actual intruder. You know? Right. But I don't know if you have time. And like, I was actually thankful I was on the couch because if I, because if I was in my room and I heard the door open right, right, right. and then heard it close, I would not get, I would lock myself in the room until yeah. I knew it was safe. So that's like when that lady walked into... The hotel room I was at last yeah. year, remember? You just they gave her the same key to my room. Right. And just throws you off yeah, when you're, you're when like, someone's in your space. And then right after that I was like, I wonder if he thought the decor was cute. Like I was like, I if he didn't like I'll be embarrassed if he didn't like our decor. <laughs> you you know? know, I'm sure that thought did not cross his mind. Like, no, this isn't my apartment. No, but when I see a peek into other people's apartments, Oh yeah, you get curious. I, I'm like, oh, I like that. Ooh. Yeah, like if they have their door open, which doesn't happen often, but sometimes people have that. I'm like, oh, you know, I don't right. open the door. No, because just... a, I mean, in a, in a big apartment building, a lot of the um, like layouts are the same. So yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, it's just interesting to see how they what, dec- what somebody else did with that space. Right? How did they decorate? Yeah. So immediately I was like, ah, oh, what if he's judging? You know, but glad glad everyone's safe, including myself. You just got to get better with locking your door. And now you know. I, I do lock my door, I thought. Yeah, I'm mean, well. <laughs> yeah. I that that was my first question because I feel like so many doors automatically lock. Lock. No, apparently not. <laughs> Yesterday I was walking on the street in the city and a fight broke out amongst teens or I don't know, but I'm going to say teens beating the ever living shit out of each other and someone was recording it and you know it's bad World star you know it's bad when a homeless man on the street was like oh geez all right like i you know you where, know this fight was bad where where what where were you on like 24th jeez it was it was it was intense and they were like laughing, but being serious at the same time, just beating the shit out of each other. And someone was recording it. And I stopped to look. Just to look. Because they were like semi walking in front of me. And then all of a sudden the fight broke out. Yeah. And I like kind of got out of the way. But then I was like, mm. well, I'm sure that the New York way is just to ignore everything that's going on around you. So I'm, I imagine everybody else just kept walking. Yeah. Like people were stopped like a little bit. They were stopping a little bit because yeah. it was sounded pretty intense. But then you kept walking. I was like, what the I, hell? That's, I feel like that's what all New York people do when they see any... New York teens. Any kind of issue or something happening. Just it's walking. just like you just keep... Yeah, the cops will... Intervene. You just keep walking. Yeah. I saw this thing on TikTok, or I think we've all seen it because we talked about The Office. But I have a question for you, Noah. And don't lie. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Like, never. Okay, great answer. That's the answer I'm looking for. I don't believe these these people online. There's this thing going viral where, where girls will ask their guy friends, boyfriends, husbands, whatever, how often they think about the Roman Empire. And their response is like, every day, a couple times a week, at least once a month. I asked every guy in this office if they ever think about the Roman Empire and it was a hard no, never, like zero. Like unless I'm watching a movie. Right, like, unless, you, unless you watch a movie recently or a documentary or whatever. There, what would there be to think about? Exactly. Nobody in this office thought about the Roman Empire. Like I asked I, every I, guy, yeah. they were like, never. I saw and I'm, Anna I, did it with Dylan yeah. and he was like, once a week oh like no God. fucking way like i think guys are just think that's fu- like funny to be like, like yeah i don't I th- know like gladiator yeah <laughs> like people think about uh you know like oh girls think we think about girls all the time but really we're thinking about the roman empire it's like why the roman empire of everything right like i just i, I don't know it was just like a weird thing that just like it was honestly just screenshots like someone did it on TikTok and it was just like screenshots of messages and it went viral and then other people started asking. And then other people started asking and their people are like, That's not like yeah, impressive to me. M- no, it's not. <laughs> I find everyone to be lying. Like it's I like, don't. Even if you weren't lying, it's like cool. You think about the Roman <laughs> Empire every day. Like, like <laughs> I just find that to be so random that I don't believe it at all. No, the people who say every day, just that's impossible. Or like, you know, I don't know, a couple times a week. Why? Why would you be thinking about the Roman Empire a couple times a week? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. I think maybe like 
once a month. Once a month. I don't know. It's you only think about it when something like gra- like yeah, but makes you think about yeah, it. I haven't thought about the Roman thinking, Empire since high school. I'm saying, you're still thinking about yeah, it. Yeah. So like you maybe know? once a month, like someone's like, "I'm going to Rome," and then you're like, oh. "Right." That's what I'm saying. Like I don't think it's like a out of the blue thought. No, exactly. Apparently, to these guys, it's an out of the blue thing where they're thinking Which about the like Roman Empire. Anything else in the world, it's like for the most part, like. But I feel like that's why maybe it's getting interpreted differently because I feel like. Because some guys are like, oh, you know, like, you know, glad, like a movie or like something. It's like, oh, they're doing something that makes them think of the Roman Roman Empire. Empire. I just can't see it. I just don't know why anybody would be thinking about the Roman Empire. Like, unless you're watching a movie about it. Yeah. Random, random thing that's going viral on TikTok. That was a very random thing. And then, like, you see other guys tweeting, like, "I I see this thing going on on TikTok. And it's like, yeah, it's so true. Like, I think about the Roman Empire, like, a couple times a week. It's like... Yeah, you did ask a bunch of people here. They all said no. Hard no's. Even yeah. Francis, I asked, because I thought Francis like would be like, yeah, I think about it yeah, occasionally. Yeah. And he was like, never, zero. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're just doing it for, for the bit. But it's like, Apparently. are there other moments in history that, or periods of hi- in history that people think about like a lot? No. Like, like well, a couple times a week? Yeah, like what? Maybe. There like, could be, oh, I, I guess. I was thinking about the Great Depression. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe every so yeah, often, like, uh, I just think about you know the Roaring Twenties. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> just there's those couple three three to five times a week the Roaring Twenties yeah. just pop in my brain oh. and I say, damn. I was just there's thinking those about history the buffs out there. <laughs> there are. Um, all right. Well, there isn't much. I thought to... maybe I would get a text. Ma- I th- I thought I. Would. Joe's at work, so he's not going to answer right away. He's probably thinking about the... <laughs> yeah. he's thinking about- Sorry, he can't answer. He's thinking about the Roman Empire. Yeah. Straight Talk just introduced the new Straight Talk multi-line plan where more lines mean more savings. Just $25 a line per month when you get four lines with unlimited data, talk, and text, all on nationwide 5G. Plus, no contracts, no hidden fees, and no compromises. That's the Straight Talk talking from Straight Talk Wireless, available at Walmart and Walmart.com. So once again, if you're paying too much for your wireless plan, Straight Talk just introduced the new Straight Talk multi-line plan where more lines mean more savings. It's just $25 a line per month when you get four lines with unlimited data, talk, and text all on nationwide 5G, plus no contracts, no hidden fees, and no compromises that's the straight talk talking from straight talk wireless available at walmart and walmart.com anyways not really much going on besides when we talked to you guys yesterday and we recorded not even really updates i will say the one thing is an update from what we talked about is uh, Meg the Stallion and Justin Timberlake made t- a TikTok together after yeah. the VMAs, and so that was very clear that nothing happened between the two of them. They were like laughing, but I think they had a song over. It. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what was going on there, but not much to update on. But we do have no. an awesome interview with my sister. Saw Justin Timberlake last night. She did at White Horse Tavern. In the I city. didn't know if we were allowed to say that. I I, th- I think I don't, unless mm. she's saving it for something, and if she is, sorry. Yeah, I mean it's not ground. It's not like a. There's not really a story attached to it. It's just like she saw him. She saw there. Justin Timberlake. It was just. She didn't go up to him or anything. No, I wouldn't bother Justin Timberlake. I wouldn't. Go no, up. I'd be way too afraid mm-hmm. to approach Justin Timberlake for yeah. sure. That nasty man. I feel like he's, he's the kind of guy. Like if he had a hat on, like I probably wouldn't even notice. He just kind of really? looks like a normal he's guy. He's Justin Timberlake. No, no, but like mm. if he just like he has a beard, like mm. he has a hat on. He's just in like the white horse. T- I would just be like, that's a normal guy. I wouldn't even think twice. Like, that's normal. They guy. have a. I feel Unless like. Unless someone just, else is like, that's just. I feel like famous people just have an allure to yeah, them. And like, even if they look normal, 100%. you pick up on the fact that it's Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake walks by you, you know it's Justin yeah, Timberlake. Yeah, like, so, there's First, something that like, comes over your body, like, and you're like, mm, that's Justin Timberlake. Even if he was wearing, like, a black sweatshirt, black hat, could barely see Honestly, his Honestly, that's true. Because remember in LA when we were at that theater and Logan Lerman. Yeah, walked by and I didn't really. I was like, oh, that, why do I know that guy? Yeah. Right, you just can feel a famous, and that's Logan presence. Lerman, and not looks- Justin Timberlake. <laughs> yeah. You could just feel the presence of fame. Yeah. You feel it around me every day. I bet. You think he's is he he's still a list, Justin Timberlake? One million percent. I know he's just like so like not relevant. <laughs> oh, I guess like with Jeez, I guess Jesus with, Christ. 
with uh, the instinct coming back. But nobody laughed at my joke, and I now it seems it. like I was serious. I didn't hear. It. <laughs> I was too busy. I said, um, I said, you feel the the presence of fame around you, like you feel it around me every day. Uh. <laughs> but I was kidding, and then it sounded like I was being serious because no one heard me. <laughs> it was more focused on Noah's <laughs> with the with the. I don't know. At what point is he just A-list forever? Yes. yes, it's Justin Timberlake. But that is literally the allure of being an A-list celebrity. There are A-list celebrities that have done nothing. A-list for celebrities, many I think, years, just, and they just—they're just. It's just name. They're so A-list celebrities. Once you go A-list, you can never go back. Yep, kind of. There is a special A-list tier where once you go there, you'll always be A-list. Like Justin Timberlake will yeah. always be an A-list celebrity. Justin Bieber. We'll always be an like, A-list celebrity. Like, like, there's just people, you know, Sandra Bullock, She she's just recently, you know, sad reason mm -hmm. why she was in the news again. But she's been living a pretty quiet life recently. Mm -hmm. For a while, I would say. But if you were to say, like, a Sandra Bullock, like, yeah, 100%. Here's a good a -list. example. Like, Ice Spice is A-list right now, but, like, in no. 10 years... You don't think Ice Spice is a everyone... No. Like, she's, like, one of the most popular... I don't think no. she's an A-list She's not an A-list celebrity. celebrity. In my eyes, A lists are like the the makings of Brad Pitt, yes. Angelina. You have Jolie. to have longevity to be an A list celebrity. I th in my I think yeah, like, in my like, like, I, list, I think this special A list, A -list criteria <laughs> yeah. in my A list criteria, there has to be some sort of longevity. You may be like an it girl at the moment, yeah, like Ice Spice girl. is an it girl right now for mm -hmm. sure. But I don't. That doesn't make her an A list celebrity. In my mind. Yeah, like I think there's a special, and I keep looking up when I say special. Up to the stars. A list. Like, I don't know why I keep looking up like, man, yeah. this special tier of celebrity, but there is a special tier. Yeah. Like you're not putting Ice Spice and Justin Timberlake in the same no, tier. No, no. No. But there are, I feel like there, so there let's has call, to be different levels well, of Well, let's call it the S tier then, yeah, where it's yeah. like untouchable. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, she's not, B, you know, like. You you're gonna not going to call her a B list celebrity. I don't know. Those lists are so confusing. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. anything other from? than A does not matter in my mind. Like, you're either an A-list celebrity or you're not, you know? Right, like, we're like not going to call her who's a B-list celebrity. going to debate between, like, the difference between a B and a C-list celebrity? Right, like, right. I just think, like, you're well, you're famous. Joke, like, you're famous or you're an A-list celeb. Right, like, you're known, yeah. you're famous. Yes. I think there's, you're known or a, and like, then you're famous. Or you're, you know, all the way and to the bottom. And then you're A-list like or you're the Z-list. Yeah, Z-list is like... You're a Z-list, or you're just famous, or you're an A-list. <laughs> like, like certain TikTokers are like F-list. Yeah, you know. Charlie D'Amelio, is she is she what is she? She's not A-list, but she's very famous. Yeah, yeah. But she's not. I wouldn't say she's. I an wouldn't say she's, she's been around for a little bit. I just find like uh, I just don't know if that's an A-list celebrity. I don't know. I just A-list like A-list falls into the movie stars. Yeah. The musical stars, people, the movie stars. A-list to me are, are people who don't need to be on social media that are incredibly famous. Yeah, I, I, I think that They can never be, post a day in their life and be famous. Most of these people don't have, so, like, yeah, they never post. Totally, yeah. I agree. John Mayer? John Mayer is, is an A-list Yeah, John, is an but John Mayer celebrity, rarely... You know, I mean, he's active, but right. It's not but like the, he's I'm not saying I'm not, not saying none of them post. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> I'm like, saying yeah. like, is he a list? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> That's. I <laughs> wanted to check. Noah's okay now that John Mayer is a list. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um. Okay. Let's get into uh, the rest of our show. We have a great interview with Christy Carlson Romano and Annalise Vanderpool. They are great. We had so much fun with them. That is, it. It honestly was kind of a back and forth. I don't know. You know. When we say interview, yeah. like we just had a lot of fun with them. Yeah, it was. They it was are a so good, great. It was a great chat. Um, they're I just love them so much. And great we energy. Have, yes, and we have a weekly watch report. So let's get into the rest of the show, huh? Game Time is the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Created by fans for fans, Game Time is the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. We've all been to a show or a sporting event thanks to Game Time. Game Time is the absolute best. It's all possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. They'll even credit you 110% of the seat price if you can find a better deal elsewhere. You can also get limited 
limited time discounts with exclusive flash deals. The purchase process takes just two taps and 10 seconds. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone, no printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email and redeem code SHIX for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Once again, download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email and redeem code SHIX for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. All right, let's get into the weekly watch report where we talk about the things we watch this week. Woohoo! Weekly watch report. Mm-mm. Weekly watch report. Yeah, yeah. Weekly watch report. Ooh, ooh. Weekly watch report. Hey, hey. That was beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't even want to chime in. You were on a roll. I was just going to let you have that one. Yeah, that one felt good. Yeah. Mm, it's a good day. Um, all right. What I watch all Desperate Housewives. I thought my list was going to be really long because, okay, well, I'll admit it. I watched a movie and it was before I saw everything happen with Mila and Ashton. I watched Ted. You're allowed <laughs> you're, to watch. You can watch. You're allowed to watch Ted. I watched Ted and right after I watched Ted, I saw everything that happened and I was like, damn, come on. Oh, why did you have to do F that? Man. No, I was just like, why? I was like, why? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, but I watched Ted. What happens in Vegas was on TV this weekend. I put it on. Yeah. Like, I just was like, damn, you know, yeah. I'm just disappointed. You're like, why, you know? But, um, so I watched Ted and cause I just wanted a movie. This is when I was like really struggling. Like I just wanted a movie where I could just like laugh, haven't seen in a while, laugh. That Ted is honestly hilarious movie. Very funny Like movie. that fucking teddy bear is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> genuinely very funny movie hilarious yep. movie yep. um i also watched real housewives of new york city i caught up on okay, that yeah i'm like it's fine yeah you know like i'm not obsessed with it but it's fine okay it did its trick made me feel comfortable yeah um after watching that de- like hours of desperate housewives which could be creepy at times i then put on real housewives when i was alone okay because I wanted to feel safe and sometimes yeah, that is a per- reality, TV reality TV makes is, me feel yeah. like safe sometimes. Um, yep. So I watched that. I also watched Southern Charm on cable. I didn't go out of my way to watch Southern Charm. I was clicking around on cable and I saw Southern Charm. I've never watched Southern Charm before and I texted Craig <laughs> after. I mean, it is kind of funny because I do think that you have historically played it off if you have listened to our interviews with any of them, you have played it off like you do watch the show. Yeah. And I'm like caught up why, on like the you know? drama and stuff. Yeah. But I've never actually watched an episode. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to put this on. There's something else on cable. I don't really feel like watching anything else. And I watched like five or six episodes and then the reunion. Southern Charm is great. <laughs> and new it ep- really wrote me in tonight. And I texted Craig in a group chat with you guys and I wrote Craig I'm not gonna lie I'm watching Southern Charm for basically the first time because there's there's a marathon on cable wild and he just wrote Rhea what yeah. and I he said I mean I don't care but you played that off for almost a decade which is true I was like I was like yeah I mean I wasn't shouting it from the rooftops that I never watched Southern Charm yeah but I didn't um wild though I'm into it I may watch the new season it's a great show it is I may I may watch the new season and then, of course, I watched Desperate Housewives. I watched the entirety of season one. And I also watched some episodes of season two last night. And it's a fantastic show. Love Desperate Housewives. Give it an A. Uh, Desperate Housewives gets an A. I am getting better at not overkilling it. Like last weekend, I overkilled because I couldn't do anything else. Yeah, so I yeah. just watched the entirety of the first season. The, the past couple nights, I'm like, all right, let's play an episode or two. Right. You know, let's not get crazy. Because re- you, you rarely make it to the end. No, and I really, I really, I really start one. Right. I, I, there is something with Desperate Housewives, though. Like, I want to make it to the end, but I do know there's big changes that happen, and I don't know, like, I don't know if I'll make it to the end of Desperate Housewives. Okay. I don't know. There's a change. I don't know. I want to. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't commit to it because I didn't make it to the end of Suits yet. Yeah, yeah. And so I know myself and it's like, I want to make it to the end of Desperate Housewives. But are you going to go back to Suits? So my parents were asking me this yesterday because they loved Suits. Yeah. Like, they watched all nine seasons in a scary amount of time. 
And like we had like a little back and forth yesterday where they were like, are you not going to keep watching? And I was like, right now I'm watching Desperate Housewives and you guys need to respect that. And they were like, well, why don't you finish Suits? And I said, because I got really sick of the same thing happening. And I said, listen, it's my own fault. I know that, you know, I did it to myself and I'm about to do it to myself again with this show. That's why I'm taking it easy. And I think eventually I will go back. I would love to sit and watch Suits with your dad. I mean, <clears throat> like to, I would just love to hear his commentary. On, he on the show. has commentary about everything, so yeah. I'm sure it would be. I, I just find like, and I don't know what it is, but I find it. And if it's something that's like bad, getting really bad, like I'll give up on it. But I can obviously watch multiple shows at a time, but I r- rarely will stop a show, like in the middle. Mm. I just I have to finish it. Yeah. I think when there's so many seasons is when I get like, all right, where like when yeah, it gets yeah, yeah. repetitive sometimes, yeah. like Suits, Nine, Se- Desperate Housewives, like sometimes it just get like I can two, three seasons. I'm definitely finishing a show. Right. When there's like 10 seasons of a show, you're like, damn. Yeah. But it's but it, that's why you can like space it out. That's what I'm trying to do here. Yeah. I will. Uh, I'll probably eventually go back and with. Desperate Housewives. I'm, that's why I'm trying to take it easy. One, two episodes a night where I don't get tired of yep. it. Um, so that gets an A for me. Southern Charm will get... I might get a great Southern Charm. I was watching on cable. And I don't even know like, I mean, I what season think that it was. Counts. I'm gonna, oh, you don't even know what season Like, I don't even know. what It was old. <laughs> I was like... So... I'm going to give Southern Charm... And now I'm afraid... Greg and people Austin are going to see this. People are also thinking, people are going to think that I'm talking you're about talking the about episode. the new episode of the new season. Clarify, old Southern Charm episodes, not sure when. Um, this is really tough for you. It is. It's tough. I'm going to give Southern Charm a B. Did you continue watching after the guy came in? The show, Southern Charm. Yeah, yeah. After continue. the guy walked into your, you just turned, you just kept watching. Yeah, well, we were supposed to. That would, throw my off. Whole, that would throw my whole day. Out. I would just be like, I gotta like go to sleep or something. No, I continued to watch. Go it was eleven thirty in the morning. Eleven thirty in the morning, and take a nap. I, <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. I said, I'm gonna continue watching. Yeah, I think you just gotta go on with you your. You gotta go on with your day. You can't not let something like that derail yeah. you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I got my cry out and I moved on. Exactly. I felt silly crying too, but I moved on. Yep. Um, so Southern Charm gets a B and Ted. <laughs> Ted will get um, a B plus. Okay. And Real Housewives in New York City will get a C minus. It's fair. It's fine. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm not totally obsessed. And I think their fights are pretty stupid. They're entertaining because yeah. of how dumb they are. Uh, but yeah, that's what I watched this week. I need I need some more, like, from certain character, characters, mm-hmm. whatever you want to call them. Like, I need, I like Sai a lot. Mm-hmm. I just need there to be more than than like she needs to be fed and or she's hungry or she's mm-hmm. critical of like every it's been every single episode. I feel like she is very critical of everybody else. Yeah, she is. Um I like Jenna. I feel like they're hard on her. Yeah, I think they're hard on her like that is just also a very classic like jealousy thing. Like mm-hmm. I think they think that Jenna thinks she's better than them. Yeah, and you know? I think she's sweet. Yeah, I I thought I think Jenna's been great, and I think it's okay that she wanted to fly, whatever she wanted to fly. Yeah, and I and if she wanted, to, and if she also like, if she did want to get a tan, also fine. Yeah, and if she wanted to pay f- to fly business class, well, so let her, so you know? let her do that. Exactly. I don't think she caused any harm to anybody. Yeah, I I kind of feel bad for Jessel a little bit because I feel like she gets an edit that makes her look even more annoying than she is Mm -hmm. you know it's the way they frame things like in this last episode i think it was the last episode i was watching but they're on this trip 
and they're opening up about their past and it's a you know ser- serious conversation they're talking about it and then Jocelyn starts to tell her story about like her uncles it's you know seems like a long-winded story it seems like she's just a long-winded gal but the way they edit it where they like were like cutting back and forth and they're like really making it look like she was just dragging mm-hmm. it on and on and on yeah and I'm like oh that's that sucks for her because yeah. she like thought she was telling her friends like her life story right. about her family and they're like making fun of her for right, doing like it when, like it's, yeah, yeah like that it was just like a really long story um but yeah I like Uba a lot also so do I I think she's cool she has such a fantastic body yeah, my she, god yeah, yeah well I'm saying that because she was talking about her boobs yeah and I was like oh my god she does have great boobs yeah <laughs> Yep. I've talked about my love for cooking on this show before. I love making new things. I love mixing it up. Last night, you know, made a little taco. I love cooking and I love changing it up every week. But the most important thing when you're cooking is to make sure you have the good pans, the good stuff to get you through the night. You don't want a pan that isn't, you know, it's just not going to cook it right. You know the difference between a good pan and and a bad pan. A bad pan, it doesn't come out as good. Maybe if you're an excellent, fantastic cook, you can cook up with anything, but you really do need good pans and kitchenware in your life. Caraway's nonstick kitchenware makes cooking a breeze and cleanup easier than ever, and it's back to school made easy. Nonstick is awesome. That really is a lifesaver when it comes to so many things that you're cooking. With so many collections of their internet famous kitchenware to explore, there's Caraway for every kind of cook. A non-toxic, chemical-free ceramic coating means food can be prepared with peace of mind that no hard-to-pronounce chemicals will leach into your healthy ingredients. Every set comes in various modern shades to fit with any design aesthetic you want. And now introducing Caraway's Prep Set, 10 Essential Knives and Utensils utensils designed for chopping better. Having good knives is also super so important when you cook a lot. There is nothing worse than cutting something up with a bad knife. It's seamless. It's easy with a good set of knives. I think everybody should own a good set of knives in their life. And you do, if you don't, get on that. Get on that right now. You are a full adult once you own a nice, good set of knives. So check it out with Caraway. They also have the prepping cleaner and storing easier with caraway products visit carawayhome.com slash chicks to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10 percent off your next purchase this deal is exclusive for our listeners so visit carawayhome.com slash chicks or use code chicks at checkout caraway non-toxic cookware made modern once again caraway.com caraway home sorry carawayhome.com slash chicks or use code chicks at checkout i watched so I, I I caught up on New Jersey, uh, not New York. I'll give it a C. I'm I, I like it too. Mm-hmm. Like I'm watching it, but I'm not like I catch up on it when I have time. I'm not. I don't even know what night it's on TV. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Like it's I I open throw it on when I you, open right. Peacock and I'm like oh I missed a couple episodes. Let yeah. me catch up. Yep. Salt Lake City. I watched the new season episode one. Bravo casting just really does their job you know they Mm -hmm. brought in a woman and now i'm spacing on her name already i only watched the first episode i know that i think there's two out now or maybe i guess maybe three now i don't know a new cast member was a witness Mm -hmm. in the jen shaw trial yep so she's coming in she's (laughs) like i've heard a lot from jen about these women and Jen never had nice things to say about anybody. Um, so that, you know, that's an interesting spin. Yeah, they I know like what they're it. Doing. I, I, I like it. Um, there's a, there's a, so, I have a soft spot for Salt Lake City. I don't know. Sometimes it's just really so absurd and, and funny that it, mm-hmm. it's just, once again, like, I, I just think those ladies take themselves, like, way too seriously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just, not all of them, but a, a few of them, like, you just got to lighten up. Yep. Like Meredith was really upset that Whitney had said to page six that she was like making fun of her and her husband that they were like in the tub together and she was really fucking mad. <laughs> and Whitney's like, I, w- it was a joke. Mm-hmm. Like it's just, you know, the little things that really piss them all off. I'll give that first season, I guess it's season four, episode one is the only one I watched. I'll give it a, I'll give it a B. I liked it. I'm ready to go. Okay. ready for a new season. Um, I'm more invested Mary's back. Oh, 
<laughs> God, just the weirdest, mm -hmm. truly the weirdest person I've ever seen. One of the weirdest per people I've ever seen on reality TV. I don't know. I just, <laughs> she is just bizarre mm -hmm. in, in in a fascinating way, <laughs> but also just like, just I would weird. be terrified to be in the mm -hmm. same room as her. Um, I watched all of the second season of Selling OC. Really? Yeah. I watched the first one. This is this goes but this goes back to like when I start like right. I watched the first season, I was like I got to watch the second. Okay. I watched the second. Is this show good? Um I liked the first season better. The second season felt I don't know, it's the same as Selling Sunset. Like I watched Selling Sunset and I enjoy Selling Sunset mm. even though I know it's a lot of it is just fake, yeah. super fake. Right. And that's kind of how I watched Selling OC. And I like, I don't know, there was more of an interesting dynamic with the Tyler guy who was married to Britney mm -hmm. Snow and like Alex Hall and like what was happening. And I like Alex Hall. And it was just, I don't know, maybe things have changed or they played up for the camera. But Alex Hall is just that girl that you really like. But she will play it up for the guy that she likes and you're like, oh, I kind of wish she didn't do that. Like, I like her as a friend yeah. to the rest of the girls. But I'm like, this girl is so in love with Tyler and will not admit. She's like, we're just we're just best buds. Mm -hmm. We're just best buds, you know? And then they share this moment at the end of the season. But it, it meant nothing because they're doing interviews and they're like, oh, no, like, yeah. we're friends. Like, it just feels like I'm like, okay, you, you knew what you were doing. It's like, ah, oh, new storyline, whatever, I think. Um... But it was just a lot of the same fights. Like it was, they were arguing about the same thing, same thing the whole season. Kayla came in with a real chip in her shoulder, which was fine, but it was just like, it was just like kind of a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I like Brandy a lot. I think she's one of my favorites. I think she did not want to get involved in the drama at all and then ended up getting involved in the drama and is maybe like, like wants to be on the show, but is also like, this shit is really fake and I don't I, I don't like to be involved in all this fake shit, but here I am involved in the fake shit yeah. and then she gets frustrated. They brought in a new woman who like, oh, so organically she's gonna be a new agent, but she doesn't even have a real estate license, but like <laughs> she's gonna join she's gonna join the group. Um and her name is also Alexandra. There's nine million Alexandras, but they, she goes by Allie. And they just said, give us another Chriselle. Like, copy-paste Chriselle. Mm -hmm. Southern girl, getting into real estate, excited. Like, they look the same. Really? They literally look the same. I gotta try and find a picture of her. Like, totally same look. And she's, like, talking to... Uh, she's talking to... Jason... And I'm like, Jason's gonna love her because she looks just fucking, she, she looks just like mm -hmm. Rochelle. <laughs> look at this woman's Instagram and tell me she does not look exactly like Rochelle. Even from like what you just showed me. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the same person. Yeah. That, that is funny. Wow. Like, and she's, she lives in Nashville. She she's like Southern. Yep. Like, she's got the whole vibe mm -hmm. of like, she definitely has a you know, vibe. humble beginnings. Yeah. Now she's, now she's taken on real estate mm -hmm. and, and on the West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. All right. Casting. Just deciding. Mm -hmm. Cause it's just, that stuff is never, the real estate, and you know, I'm not, these people work for sure, but there are other agents that obviously work at the uh group the o group <laughs> that's the that are working <laughs> and not on this tv show you know so she comes on and she's like oh you know i i'm interested in getting into real estate but like i don't have my license or i and i've never sold a house before <laughs> and they're like oh let's I'm really put her, interested in getting let's into put reality her in tv OC, yeah let's put her in oc where the real estate is so fucking expensive like they're they're selling million, 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 yeah, like million dollar homes. I don't think that's legal. Like, <laughs> no, well, she's got to get her license before she can actually sell a home. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you fly through this show also. It's like eight episodes. They're 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like you can literally watch it in one night. Like yeah. you just kind of, and it's on and you're paying attention, but you're not but really barely. paying attention. Right. Um, I'll give it a, I'll give it a C. It's mm -hmm. just like, you know, I enjoy, it's fine. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. 
I do like to see that OC real estate though. Those houses are stunning. Insane, yeah. Um, which is a fun aspect. But yeah, I don't know what's. I can't get a read on this Tyler guy. Also, I'm like good guy, married to Britney Snow, divorce. He doesn't like want to be in the drama, but I'm like, what are you doing with this Alex Hall situation? Mm-hmm. Because you're clear, you're playing it up a little bit. And and he knows she loves him, right? You know, like they're trying to act like they're not trying to act like he doesn't, or she's trying to act like, oh, I don't know if we could take that next step, mm-hmm. but. So maybe it's just all fake, but the way it comes off on TV is that if Tyler were to say, let's fucking elope tomorrow, she'd be like, where do I sign? <laughs> like, that's <laughs> that's the vibe it gives. I don't know if that's real or not, but that's the vibe it gives. Um, Yeah, that's really, so that's really all the thoughts I have on Selling OC. What else did I watch? I watched two episodes of Only Murders. I was catching up. I've call, fought, missed a few episodes. I watched four and five great give him a b plus i love the show i also love this potential jesse williams selena gomez romance they got Mm -hmm. going on for this season i don't know if there's gonna be any twists or what's happening but you know there's a twist around any around every corner you don't know what's gonna happen the show is full of twists it is and um justice for mark short but he very funny steve martin's had some very funny moments in these last two in those two episodes also they did this like white room concept did you watch that one no so i watched um i watched last week i watched a couple episodes i think i'm two behind now okay. or maybe one behind oh so then you definitely did watch the right way did room I? episode it was episode four there's like seven episodes oh no, okay no no i'm behind okay. i'm like more behind than i thought then. yeah i think this i think seven just came out this week i have to watch like four yeah. five six seven i think okay i won't give anything away but like the they did this it's the idea that Steve Martin has to perform this song, but he has like a mental block. Mm-hmm. And it's like this actor's concept called like the white room where you're for stage performers, you just go on stage, you basically black out. You have like no idea what's happening. Yeah. And then it ends. So it keeps happening to Steve Martin while he's trying to practice this song. And everyone's watching. They're like, they have, and he has no idea what he did, but it's, you know, it's, the stage is ruined and like everything's all over the place and they're all average. Very funny. Funny bit. Loved it. Thought it was funny. Chicks in the Office is brought to you by Body Armor Light, a natural, low calorie, low sugar hydration drink. Whether you're looking to stay hydrated or recovering from a long weekend, Body Armor Light has you covered. Real hydration, real ingredients, packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor Light has great tasting flavors like peach mango, dragon fruit berry. We have a bunch in our office. We have the Body Armor Water, but we also have the Body Armor Light. We have peach mango, strawberry lemonade. It's delicious. Uh, You know, maybe you have a long weekend. Monday, you're looking to rehydrate. Sunday, you're looking to rehydrate. Body Armor Light is great. So Body Armor Light is available in stores nationwide, but you can head on over now to the Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. I watched the first episode of, I believe it's called Welcome to Wrexham, the docuseries on Wrexham, the football club that's, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, I always say his name wrong, uh, run in in Wales. To be honest, I didn't know that there was a whole first season. <laughs> I thought that this was like a brand new show. That's my B. <coughs> really? Yeah, I, I kind of, like like I don't know. I just, so many commercials. I don't know. I just about. feel like I was just seeing so much promotion for it now that I thought that it was new, but it's the second season. And yeah. I'm just jumping in at the second season. So season two, episode one, I I very much liked it. I'll give it a B plus. I love a good docuseries. And Oh wait, I, so you, you, you watched season two, episode one. Yeah, I'm I mean I don't You're need to go, go back, back to watch season one. I know what happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I've heard about the I've heard about it. They did a whole recap yeah. at the beginning of season two about all of season one. I feel like I get the gist. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> Um, and when you watch a docu series that like is more dated, you know, it's just not as interesting. You want to be more up to date with what's going on. So I'm just I'm just jumping in for season two. Uh, love me some Ryan Reynolds, just really do. Who doesn't? I also watched 
Lords of Dogtown for the first time. Really? Yeah, this was a Joe request. He came home and was just like really in the mood to watch Lords of Dogtown. Mm-hmm. He knows it's one I've never seen. Yeah. Watched it. Good, fine, good movie. Yeah. Feels like a, like, you know, boy vibes. Yeah, it's a... Not a lot of dialogue. I, it was kind of hard for me to follow at times, which I may have just have not been mm. fully paying attention. But I'm like jumping around. I'm like, wait, now these ones are famous. These ones aren't famous. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> but not like I said, not a lot of dialogue. Good movie, though. I'll give it a B. Yeah, that was a big one my brother loved when we yeah. were younger. Yeah. Like, not... Do I think I'll ever watch it again? No. <laughs> but it was a good movie. Yeah. Um, and Suits. Um, I finished the first season. Good cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. Love a good cliffhanger. Good season one cliffhanger. And I've now I'm on to season two. So because I, I really enjoyed, like, the it got me at the beginning. And then episodes, like... Seven, eight, nine. I was half asleep, but ten, eleven, twelve, kind of like wrote me back in. Mm-hmm. And the season one finale was really good. Yeah. So I'll give that a. I'll give it a B minus. Good score. See, I never yeah. know like when I'm binging shows like there. It's just all one season to me because like I don't know. I'm not like, oh, this is the finale. I don't know. You don't look know. At, at the screen. No, I don't you don't ever look at the screen no. or when Netflix says like you're next moving episode. on to the next like, season. I was watching. Like when season one ended, Netflix, the screen pops up and it's like time to move on to yeah. the next season. I don't think it says that. It definitely does. It just goes. And I was like, oh, look at Mike. He has a whole new haircut. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much how you can tell the seasons are changing. Yeah. Especially yeah. with also, friends. I just have to say, t- hate it. Hate Mike's haircut. I don't know. It's like the end of season f- or at start of season five, I guess. Like he, it's like he's trying to do a Harvey now. It's like it's like slick back. I don't like it. It's not you. Like, <laughs> Sorry to Mike and his haircut. Mike's pretending we have these great T-shirts on sale now. Also, we do. They're sitting um, right the there. The Lewis lit T-shirts. Yep. That they, Sarah, can you toss me one? Yeah, thank you. You can buy them on the Barstool Sports store. But here they are. There they are. They're, it's a very funny shirt. It says, you just got lit up. Yeah, I'm going to give that to my dad when I go home Oh, today. he's going to love yeah, this. Yeah, he's going to love it so much. Is he a, a Lewis guy? Yeah. Well, he like has a hate-love relationship Yeah, with him. I mean, you, exactly. That You have to. Yeah. Yeah. He brings some comedic right. energy as well, you know? Yeah. I And that's uh, that's everything I watched this week. I don't think I'm missing anything. I don't have much. I watch. I'm just watching Suits a lot. Mm. I'm on season five now, and it actually is like I'm enjoying this. The last like ten episodes, <clears throat> way more than I was for like the, the last couple seasons. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's some like big yeah. Don't don't spoil it. Yeah, don't spoil it. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Now, I just finished season one. Now I'm like itching to get back into it. How do you feel yeah. about Donna? By the way, I mean, it depends I like Donna. Like where you are, but like where you are in the show, but I have no yeah. issues with Donna. Yeah. Donna or Rachel? I like them both. I they're they're how so, dare you pit two women against each other? No, now? no. I mean, I just don't have a preference on them. Yeah, because they're both they and they do different things. Yeah, they, they like sometimes jobs. interact, but like you know what I mean. From what I've yeah. seen, like Rachel's kind of like starting to annoy me more as mm-hmm. the show goes on. Um, I'll, I'll give it. A, I'll I'll just keep. I'll give it a B. Or I'll give it a B plus. Um, and then I just watched this movie. This Vince Vaughn movie called Brawl in Cell Block 99. Not sure if you guys have heard of that. Nope. No. Nope. So remember when I told you, I think it was on Because We Got High to watch the movie yes. Shot Caller? Yes, yes. And you never did. With Jamie Lannister. Yeah. Yep. No, I didn't. And it's about like how a normal person can basically go into the pr- go into prison and like he transforms. It's, mm-hmm. like, it's very similar to that movie. But not movie. as good. This one's not as good. It's a different. It's this one's just like way more unrealistic. Mm-hmm. And Vince Vaughn's like already kind of a criminal, and then he goes in and yeah, it's just very unreal. I mean, he's like, he's like killing and beating up everyone in prison. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's honestly a it's a good watch. I enjoyed it very much. Um, and I'll give it a B plus. It was, it was a solid movie. I would recommend. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you you still <clears throat> everyone still should watch Shot Caller. By the way, great movie. Great movie. Maybe this weekend. Maybe. 
Honestly, I don't maybe. Think will. I think it'll scare you. Well, let me be scared then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's all, that's all I have. I feel like I've been slacking lately. Oh and, damn, uh, yeah, you have been. Not a lot of random movies thrown <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, that's. I guess I, I guess I'm just so cool now. In my, in my real life, <laughs> that I don't have time. Right, for he doesn't have time to watch yeah, all these well, random out, movies. Once he dyed his hair, he yeah. stopped watching bad movies. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> uh, all right, those are the things we watched this week. Update on. Uh, I texted Joe. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? He said, "Why are you also asking me this?" And then he said, "Oh." <laughs> like all the time he said what? all the time yeah but he's like he says stoicism is built on the ideas of the roman emperors like he reads like the daily stoic like every day and he has the book and that's just that's very joe so i guess that checks out <laughs> i'm i'm kind of shocked yeah but if he's reading a book that's like i also guess i'm also well, i guess that i'm like, also like who asked, else is asking him this right he said why are you also yeah. asking me this who's asking you this yeah who also asked him that that would have been the first. <laughs> um, maybe somebody at work. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, that That is more like if he's reading something that has to do with it, then yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, then yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But like I'm saying, like, are all of these guys reading something that has to do with the no, Roman no, Empire? No, definitely not. Definitely not. I'm on to them. Yeah. But we'll accept that answer from Jack. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. All right, we have a great interview coming up, and it's time to crack open a nice cold Coors Light. You can see the mountains are blue. This is crisp and cold because fall is right around the corner, guys, but fall does not have to be the buzzkill to your summer chill. Coors Light helps you find moments to unwind. Maybe you have a big work presentation. Follow it up with a happy hour, some friends, and a cold Coors Light. Decompress with a relaxing day on the trail that ends with a well-earned Coors Light. Whenever you need to hit reset, reach for a Coors Light. It's made to chill. There's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill, and it's Coors Light. Like I said, the mountains on the bottles and cans even turn blue when your beer is cold, ready to go. That way you always know when it's time to chill. So when you need to hit reset, just open a Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. It's fall times right around the corner. Maybe there's a crisp little breeze. You crack open a Coors Light at home. Or it's a football Sunday. You're sitting at home. You got your Coors Light in the fridge. Or you're headed to the bar. You're getting Coors Light at the bar while you're watching the games. Coors Light is the one we choose when we need to unwind. So when you want to hit reset, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash chicks. And always celebrate responsibly from Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. All right, everyone, we are here with two very special guests. We are joined by the lovely Christy Carlson Romano and Annalise Vanderpool. They're here to talk about their new podcast, Big Name Bitches, which I now understand is because you guys have long names. <laughs> <laughs> After saying the names, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, before we started, I was like, you know, both of them have long names. And Fran was like, yeah, big name bitches. <laughs> and she, she, she was like, okay, yeah. Got, now got, it makes sense. Totally yeah. get it. Uh, but you guys look fantastic. You guys look beautiful. I love the so setup you. right now. Oh, thanks. Thank um, you. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We're so excited to talk to you guys i was jealous that we had an uh, another podco group come through you guys with uh with the uh, wizards pod yeah uh and i was like no no we have to come on and so i i totally bought your merch and tagged you <laughs> in your socials Aww. <laughs> okay. and fun. now we're on we've manifested it exactly. we were gonna have you on regardless if you bought our merch or not um <laughs> i mean it was kim possible merch i will say okay. <laughs> yes i couldn't i had to do it it's no it was one it was very cool um, mm -hmm. to see that because that's also how we connected <laughs> with the Wizards pod. Also, they were like, oh, my God, the same kind of they were they saw merch? The, the merch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we told the story at first when David reached out to us. We were like, oh, fuck, are we about to get sued for these shirts? And yeah. he was like, no, I just want one. <laughs> like he was like, I'm not shirts. <laughs> well, I think y'all were smart with the way that you titled it. Do you guys go through Fanjoy too? Do you guys go use Fanjoy? No, we no. have a, all, it's all in house. And that's so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, with Barstool. You guys yeah, yeah. are, yeah, Barstool is very cool. Yeah, yeah. they're so, very cool. Uh, <laughs> well, guys, thanks for jumping on. Um, you just have a new podcast that, came out in the last month or so which is super exciting <laughs> last couple weeks end of august jumping right into it 
like, well, Chrissy, you kind of feel like you're, I feel like you've become a podcast queen now. Mama. Like you're just I'm a like, mama. exactly. You have <laughs> the all these podcast little, mother, right. You, you have all these, you know, podcast network and now your own podcast. How did you guys come together for specifically this podcast? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Look at them with their directed questions. Yeah. We are literally like squirrel. We, <laughs> you guys are, you're mentoring us right now. Just oh, so yes. you know. Um, Look, I mean, I think it was such a gift. Um, as social media in general, new media in general, it's very different than, you know, traditional media. And so when I like delved into it, I want to say like, oh my God, like eight or nine years ago now, I never saw myself, you know, having podcasts for other folks, certainly. And I didn't even know what a podcast was. So uh, it was my husband and CEO of Podco who was like, um, yeah, podcasts are the future. And I was like, for real? Mm -hmm. And then I, I I did a little bit more digging. I was like, okay, so I could actually stop walking in the woods on YouTube and talking about my deepest traumas. <laughs> <laughs> those were great videos, though. They I were, love those. They were pretty viral. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah so basically, I, I, it's been great. And then like also just like ringing up my friends who I know are super interesting um, and even getting closer with folks that like, you know, Annalisa and I didn't get to be close. Um, we were like what you say, we were parallel. We had parallel paths, parallel careers. Yeah. We were kind of doing the same work. So yeah. we we're playing the same character so often. We were both in Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. on Broadway. Yeah. And, and, and I should <laughs> probably say, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> start singing. Actually, start singing right now. Not that there's anything wrong with community theater, but um, <laughs> yeah. Well, and we just were on the Disney channel and like, I don't know, we were sort of always, I wouldn't say, like the right kind of jealousy and envy of each other. Like, oh, I really want to know that girl, but I can't know her. Or the right kind of, I like that. The right kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know that like, oh, I wish it was in her life, but I kind of hate her because of it, but yeah. I kind of hate her because I really want to know her. I kind you of know, love that. Like how many, how many people do we have in our lives like that? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, so we wanted to be friends <laughs> and now, and then I did her podcast. I did vulnerable and mm -hmm. it just went off so well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we just wanted to keep going and just have a fun podcast together. Yes. That's it. And 100%. This, yeah. now she's regretting every day of it. Every but. day. <laughs> I mean, do you regret it? Do you both regret working? <laughs> How do you other? guys do it? How? Oh, we've been doing Teach it for us. a long we've just been time doing it for so long. You know, I actually thought about that yesterday. I was like, man, like good for us. You know, like just the fact yeah. that like it's stuck together. We've stuck together for this many years, yeah. and like not everyone can say that because people butt heads when they work well, together. You, you and just, that doesn't really yeah, know that, don't we, ladies? Yeah, you, 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 you just push through like the early stages when you're like, oh, you, there. If there's ever any clash, you just mm -hmm. kind of push through it. Then when you get past that point, female friendship becomes like mm -hmm. sisterhood, and yeah. you let the little things mm -hmm. go. Totally. And then it's, That's and then it's co yeah. cohesive, I think. It's interesting. That's very We're talking about female friendship. I've had a, I've had some friend breakups in the past because mm. I've been a really bad communicator in the past. So now I think Annalisa can attest that I'm like, I try really hard to communicate at every turn. I'm like, are you OK? Yes. <laughs> How are you feeling? Because yeah. like I just can't go through another friend breakup. Like it was really hard. After we, we filmed some episodes, I episode <laughs> yesterday and um. I was like telling her, you know, what I, my concerns and my, what I thought went well, my micro and my macro notes. And, <laughs> and she was like, okay, well, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I think so. She's like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, are you sure? And I was like, well, no, not girl. Like, I don't know who should I be? But I think she was just being I'm a mama. Too, I'm too, right. Yes. That's the thing. It's like, are you a friend or are you like maternal? And so I get those wires crossed. And yes, like, I think like with creating all those those pods like for me a part of that felt like I was growing my family so mm -hmm. that's right. how it feels Aww. right and at that point you're like I was okay but now you've asked me so many times that I feel like maybe I shouldn't be like are you telling me yeah. that I said no, something you shouldn't wrong be. You, should be, you should be very nervous <laughs> I know she's like and then, and then I was like I was I could also be confusing I mean we're not fixed properties right we can change our minds we change our yeah. minds all the time like I starting this podcast I'm learning a lot like what can I talk about you know you can be I mean you yeah. both of you must have such experience with this like you know starting a podcast and just being concerned always about being canceled and it's like well I'm a good person how could I be canceled but every little tidbit every word is being um you know it's on a is on a microscope mm -hmm. and 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 di dissected mm -hmm. and of course if a little snippet of it is taken out of context you know then you're really screwed can i say screwed yeah. I mean, you guys i'm freaking out no i'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, it's, it's no, different that, yeah it, it is like different we, and it's different because yeah. you guys lived you you live 
live that life. So the mm-hmm. stories are from your own firsthand experience and you've seen things and you've heard things, which mm-hmm. is what people are always so interested in. We mm-hmm. live on the outside of it. So we we team up with the people who like to speculate on, yeah. on other things because we don't have the firsthand mm-hmm. stories to share where it's like, ooh, if we share, if we tell this story, is this going to put us in a tough spot? It's more like, hey, is, is somebody in our personal life going to get mad at us if right. we share something that we shouldn't? Yeah. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. yeah. But, yeah. but even, like, we were talking the other day no, sorry, about, um, no, 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 we were just talking the other day about um, just like our first time, you know, being young. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, I started to tell the story and I was like, oh, my dad might be listening. Like, yeah. this is really, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. So, but then it's also thinking like, wait, I've done nothing wrong. I yeah. should be able to tell the story. And also I want to be an open book, but I don't know. I'm really figuring it out. I, yeah. You know, when I'm under the helm of um, Christy mm-hmm. and and it's, you know, and, and a female, sometimes I wonder for for you ladies what it's like with Barstool Sports under Actually, sort of male leadership. Barstool, has, Barstool, I didn't realize it initially, but it does have a female creator, right? Like your founder is a female. Our, our founder, founder is, is male, male, but, but our CEO, our CEO is, is female. female. Um, yeah. I mean, we're really like allowed to say and do whatever we want. Yeah. It's kind of just mm-hmm. up to us. Everyone Thankfully, can really we're, be we're themselves. Self orchestrated. So. Yeah. Um, and our show is our show. So right. we can kind of run our show the way we want to run our show, which right. is right. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. So totally. It's um, the same kind of thing. Like, you know, Christy, I'm sure you, you're you guys are running all these other podcasts, but you want them <laughs> to creatively do whatever they want to do. Well, we we just sat down with our Neds folks. They came on and the chaos was was wild. Y'all need to have that Neds to classify people, please. <laughs> have them on your show. Yeah. They are chaos and a good time yeah. all the time. I mean, we were talking about how Lindsay, Lindsay Shaw like has consented to getting dick pics. Um, and I'll let you tell her about mm-hmm. it. But yeah, it's wild. Like they are a different kind of chaos. And like our chaos of big name bitches is really we drink mocktails, which I thought was really fun to kind of introduce people an interactive element. People started asking after our first couple episodes, like, hey, we want these recipes for these mocktails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, us being alcoholics is just a part of our story. And it kind of like is very inclusive to anyone who wants to come and listen and and know that like we've been through some shit, but like here we are with each other kind of laughing and being joyful. Mm -hmm. And like that's the takeaway, I guess, with our podcast. Pod, you know yeah, and getting to the other side and yeah, yeah being women now not yeah. not yeah. young girls and yeah yeah so so if you're saying you guys didn't really know each other through those early disney days at what point did you like reconnect and have these conversations was it when you were doing podcasts not this podcast but other ones <laughs> well Br- brendan knew after so she did my youtube cooking show okay that's right yeah and then brendan my husband's ceo guy CEO guy, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, that guy. Man. Brendan Roney. <laughs> He's not here. I miss him. Uh, but but he was like, you and Annalisa need to do something. I don't know what it is, but you have something. And I was like, oh, stop it. She doesn't like me like that. It was <laughs> <laughs> well, not like that. Yeah. She's not like yeah. me like that. Like, she, like what? She's not going to commit to me like doing something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's our thumbnail. Yes, I do. I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> so, so I was like shy about, you know, her and I thought she was really cool. And then basically when she came on vulnerable she was just in such a great place and 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 brendan really he just happened to be there yeah we we have two kids in austin we live and so it's like we're never in the same place um but he just happened to be there and he was like you know what annalisa let's talk and that's where it kind of came up yeah it was just yeah. one of those things where we couldn't stop talking and yeah. isn't that the the number one thing for a mm-hmm. podcast you know mm-hmm. um, yes definitely is. there was a lot that didn't was wasn't said Right. There was a lot that wasn't said. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. I, there was there were no ums even. Hums or hims <laughs> or haws or ums. I mean, now now we've got a couple ums. Now we've run through the gamut. Now uh, we're searching for things to do. Uh, what, can you guys teach us like what's the what's the key to sustaining? Mm-hmm. How do you guys do it? Even That's with all question. the haters out there and all the bullshit. Yeah. I, all the noise. I mean, I think it's just about being consistent. And then I think the fact that we have like a very strong fan base that we want to continue to like show up for and they mm-hmm. they support us all the time and as many people that can give hate and say whatever there are the people that enjoy listening to us and i think that we just want to entertain them and like i think uh-huh. and we genuinely See, that's what it is. we genuinely in- enjoy doing it and is our jobs but i just love the fact that I get to like entertain people and they genuinely want to hear from us. Right. 
So, so then how do you guys show up for them? Like, is it just that like you ask the questions that you know they want to ask, they want yeah, asked yeah. kind of thing? I think it's more just like we when we started off we knew that it was going to be like a pop culture based show and mm-hmm. we were just two people who love talking about pop culture and mm-hmm. there i mean when we started i, I guess like <laughs> podcasts really did pick up we started this in 2017 they were picking up at that mm-hmm. time but still a lot of like pop culture and celebrity news and all of that was reported very news based you know like e news mm-hmm. straight to the point and mm-hmm. I think what resonated with people was the fact that we just talk about pop culture like you would talk about it with your friends offline, like, you know, mm-hmm. texting or just like in a regular conversation. And mm-hmm. so I think. Yeah, it's an authentic s- authenticity. Thing. Right. And it's just like just mm-hmm. starting off that way. That's how people got to know us and then continuing to stay true to that and just always do that and just talk about pop culture and then also talk about our lives because people get to know us through yeah. talking about pop culture and then they want to get to know about you and. I just and honestly, you know, we yeah. do three episodes a week, so there are days where we come in and and we'll, you you just have to be honest. There's you, everyone can tell if you're having a, a down day or if maybe mm-hmm. you're not feeling it, but to put that forward and say, you know what, guys, I know some who, as some people who are listening to this can relate to this, just not having that day. Today right. is just mm-hmm. not the day. And I think a lot of people can relate to that where yeah. they listen and they're like, you know what? Me fucking too. Like yeah, I'm yeah. also not feeling well or I'm tired or I'm in a bad mood or you're having yeah. a great day where you're excited. And like it, it like Fran said, it's just about being honest and authentic. And then people mm-hmm. can relate to that. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Like like speak on your truth. But in a way that's kind of joyful. Yes. So you don't lose your audience. <laughs> exactly, right? I know. I think I know. it's so cheesy, but it's really like just be like people can tell when you're not being yourself, I think. Like yeah. I think people can really uh, pick up. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. people it's can really. Human, it's like a human right. experience. People can it's pick like, up when plus, someone's being themselves. And it's like you guys just be yourself and, and people love you guys. And I also think mm. what's so interesting for you two is that, you know, you mentioned that you guys live this para parallel lives and paths and you knew of each other but like a little jealousy and now you guys are doing this show there are so many stories that you probably both have that you have told before but each other has not heard so I think Mm -hmm. that's really cool that you guys can be telling each other stories and it's the first time that other people are hearing it and you're also getting the genuine reaction from the other person as well Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. True. Yeah. It, it, we've definitely, and we've started doing that. And I think we could do that more. It's mm-hmm. so interesting. It's so hard though. You, <laughs> you start telling a story and then like, Oh my gosh, remember when we were doing beauty of the beast. Oh my God. Who was your beast? Oh, this guy who was terrible. Yeah. It's like, Oh, Stuck his tongue down my throat. Oh no. Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, well, and then we said his name was he terrible to me? And uh-huh. am I still working with him? And mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's really hard, but I, again, you just have to speak your truth and then truly nobody, nobody, no job, no money, no person can say to you, if you know you're speaking your truth and a good person, I mean, yes, money makes the world go round and we all want jobs and podcasts and to work for Disney. I mean, I still work for Disney, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's a it's a fine line. It's she's navigating yeah. it, I'm and what, yeah, it or, but she's in good hands right. kind of thing, uh-huh. you know? It's what like, is, I've been doing this for a while and- and she's just killing it. Thank you. You're welcome. What is that dynamic like? Like you still working for Disney, but you want to tell stories about being on Disney. <laughs> it's really, really, really hard. It's really hard. It's um, eye opening. It's sad. It's depressing. Um, it's it's hard to even you know we did this podcast because we wanted to have fun but we and we, and also she's doing vulnerable and she wanted a departure from that she was coming home really quite depressed all the time from doing it not all the time but often yeah yeah i mean it's serious stuff yeah mm-hmm. but it's so funny it's like uh, uh, no one's you know we're multifaceted we have different feelings all the time and um uh, we're gonna have bad days like you said we're honest days days where we're on yeah. our period days yeah. where i'm on my period right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome yeah. for that exclusive <laughs> i think i'm getting mine soon oh, great no. we're gonna sync up on yeah. that yeah. of course of course which is so cool i yeah. love how women yeah. sync up i love that it's not the coolest no, shit it's, so it's cool. actually so insane how much that works it blows my mind it's your underarm pheromones yeah. that makes you sync up Really? That's so yeah, but, and it's tribal, so that everyone would like 
you know, be able to raise their kids at the same time or some shit. Like, oh, I don't know. It's really wild. It's very interesting. Cool. Like, yeah, it takes a village. It takes a village. <laughs> it really, truly. I wish I had a fucking village. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But anyway, I, 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 it's I, hard. I, by the way, there's always been chats and talks about Kim Possible coming back. Mm -hmm. So in the back of my mind, of I'm always like trying to negotiate how I feel about Disney as well. Mm -hmm. And what I will say is that at least on, on my end and the times that we've talked about it on the pod, it's always been through a very neutral lens where it's like, look, we we have had experiences that are unrelated to the big D. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> to the big D. Yeah. Um. But 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 the truth is is like it 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 might have, might have been a time that was related to the big D. But at the same time, it's like we are independent of them too. Like our human experience, I think, usurps the pol the politicization or the politicizing of the company. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, we, Wouldn't yeah. you say it's like it's not always just about the big D and like making that the search title. Although we do use it a lot. It's Dude, are you talking about Disney? The big D. <laughs> okay, yeah, honestly, I, I feel like we should call it. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, I don't either, either way, this is working. I mean, this conversation makes sense. It either really way. does. It tracks both ways. Totally. But also too, I personally really do believe in Disney magic. Mm -hmm. And like, when I yes. see her, like she just did a cruise ship. She did Disney cruises with Disney princesses. It's so beautiful to see her perform. Mm -hmm. And to either be like, you know, like singing her beautiful songs and, and she'll post about it. And I'm just like, go, I'm like Lightning McQueen, yeah. Alisa, be a princess. You're so, sweet. so it's still very much a part of who we are. Yeah. Like we yeah. can't walk away from it completely. But right. it is hard. And like there's some editing. We, you know, we filmed yeah. such an episode yesterday and we'll be doing some editing, I mean, <laughs> which is like we control the narrative. <laughs> yeah, we control the narrative. But it is crazy. It is. It is like. And then also people saying, you know, like I, I, that's why I wanted to ask you, ladies, like. It, people saying that one thing, like, who who do you listen to? A, a lot of people have said we're bitter. And it's like, I'm allowed to be bitter. I'm 40 yeah. years old. I'm mm. bitter about a lot of things. And I'm I'm not just bitter about myself and, and, you know, egotistical things. I'm bitter about global warming and how, what the world's coming to and loads of things. And I'm allowed to be, yeah. but not for too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> listen, not for too people long. have not a lot to say all the time. Everybody has mm -hmm. an opinion on the Internet. Everybody has a comment. It is nonstop. Mm -hmm. at the end of the day like and this is what I have to tell myself sometimes too there's a couple of things I have to tell myself but one of them is being like the comment that you see that like sticks with you all day that person is like commenting and moving on with their life like they commented Ooh. that and it took up one second of their day and then they moved on with their lives and they're mm -hmm. enjoying and they're enjoying their day or they're not enjoying their day I don't know probably not if they're like commenting mean things but they're not it, thinking about the they're comment. They're not again. thinking about you or that comment. So it's like, why mm -hmm. should I think about this all day long when smart, it didn't take up smart. much of their day? And that's just one thing that I think about. I mean, obviously, it's so much easier said than done when people are like, don't listen to the comments, like, whatever. It, obviously, you're going to see feedback and you want feedback on your show. Like, it's, yeah. you're putting constructive something out criticism. There, but there's a difference mm -hmm. between constructive criticism, <laughs> I think, and like people genuinely being mean and i think yeah. what you said is true like you're allowed to be bitter about some things you're allowed to feel all kinds of emotions on every single scale about mm -hmm. different things in life mm -hmm. and, yeah and like have you ever said publicly anything about each other that you wish you hadn't said <sighs> no i don't probably think not so. or like about so. someone that say you it to like, your face like somebody you've worked <laughs> with that you're like oh, oh maybe i shouldn't have said that. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or maybe somebody. See how it does not. Or maybe probably, them at all. May, like yeah. I would think somebody that we, or somebody that we've like interviewed or had on, and more then, common yeah. before, or or we've had where we've said something about somebody, and then they come on our show, and we're like, ooh, we uh, we've talked about you before, and we had this yeah. we had this assumption. I, and it's, you know, yeah. normally we're proven wrong because right. everybody is normally very, very nice. Right. Once you get to know people, then you get it's like, oh, now we're on a human level and you stop like thinking about them in a certain way or they are exactly yeah. who you thought. It really depends. But I like to like usually joke around if that happens. There have been cases where we've talked about somebody publicly and then they come on our show and I will jokingly be like I said this about you because right. for Girl, me content. that makes it more comfortable than just acting like yeah. I know and I also know our listeners know what I said about yeah. them yeah. Yeah. so yeah. like I don't mm -hmm. want to be fake to our listeners when they know what I've said and then they're like wait mm -hmm. you're interviewing this person that you said this about like it's better yeah. to just like lay it all out there and then like you right. said like their response is always going to be content like whatever they say whether they hate it's content hate us, baby or yeah. they like 
in, enjoy it. But I have a question yeah. for you guys because, you know, Disney kind of sensitive because you guys <clears throat> still have ties to it and you want to work with them. But Nickelodeon, you know, you you talked about the Ned's people and you've had people on your show right. um, Compa- talking about the two different experiences. Talking about the two different experiences. And I find it so interesting, um, just Nickelodeon as a whole and also the difference between kids being on Nickelodeon and being on Disney. Why? I actually have, uh, why do you find that interesting? Because I saw a clip. But don't test her. She's like, well, I don't want any test. It's just written on my cue card. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, no writers, no writers here. No writers. I have to ask you this. We don't have writers either. Yeah. I'm just going to make that very clear. Well, I, we're joking because I made a joke on our show today where I was like, we were talking about the VMAs and Fran was like, you know, the lack of writers is showing like people don't know what to say when they get on stage. And I was like, yeah, you know, like I was like, these people don't know how to make jokes themselves. Like we don't have writers. And Fran was like, you didn't need to make that clarification. Nobody thought this show had writers. So same, same. <laughs> like, Not only are we the writers, we're the, I'm the art designer. Yeah, exactly. Actor, yeah. exactly. Costumer, the drink maker. Yeah. Right. Like, you the, name it's it. the best we're part about having a podcast. Um, yeah. But very smart. I saw a clip of you talking and I'm blanking on who it was but you were talking about um how like Disney kids maybe like couldn't hang out with Nickelodeon kids oh, and there were no. like weird I actually don't know if Annalisa had the same experience because I think like they started kind of like jumping over to like different like they would guest star on certain like Zoe 101s and right. then they mm-hmm. would come back to their show on Disney so I think like the the later kids but initially, uh, you know, because uh, even Stevens and stuff were f- f- like the o- OG content. OK, like before that round of stuff, there was like no original programming. There was I don't know, like they had like in sync concerts yeah, and shit yeah, yeah, like in yeah, the parks. Yeah. And so like when we were coming up, there was a very big friction between Nickelodeon starting to do single camera stuff uh and disney doing it so they were like you know very competitive off the bat which makes sense you know like i think there was like um some competition there for sure that kind of trickled down from the executives down to the talent Mm -hmm. um and ain't ain't it all the same it's all the same (laughs) i i still get confused i don't even know i mean honestly nickelodeon did stay I mean, Disney Channel, it's the same thing. Yeah. I, I thought Zoe 101 was on the Disney Channel for a long yeah. time. Did you really? Yes. Like <laughs> Kyle, Kyle Massey, who was on. Um, oh, his brother. His brother oh, was his on brother. it. I was like, it's yep. so cool that you guys are both on the Disney Channel at the same time. And he was like, what are you talking about, girl? It's Nickelodeon. I was like, what? Did I come again? <laughs> like, I didn't have cable growing up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's, it's- I think when we're kind of more in a bubble, it does seem like the Nickelodeon kids got to go to like the VMAs and like, all- oh, that's right. Because Viacom that's owns right. MTV mm-hmm. and Nickelodeon. So they kind of always were really smart about that synergy right. and they would like b- not groom but they would like take the kids and they would make them superstars like Nickelodeon um, was like Kiki, a, a little bit Kiki more Palmer. edgy like it was like they had like always you edgy. almost yeah. like you almost felt like the they jokes were, gonna, were always a little riskier right, right. they were like well, a little dirty and I think, smarter, but, also, smarter. but guys but also no, for not a good way with, like so for, so, like that's what I'm trying reasons. to say when we talk about the advocacy I do think that yeah. Nickelodeon had mm-hmm. a lot less here's the here's the example I like to give on um it with um like Disney stuff and the Disney kids and a lot of the ways that Disney kids were handled, I feel like it was always like there was an adult in the other room Mm -hmm. or an adult in the room. Like there was adults somewhere, there was some sort of supervision and you had to answer to somebody. Whereas I feel like with the Nickelodeon, it was like, like you had a really drunk uncle that right, was like right. in the house and like you could just throw the parties or you could jump off the fucking roof. <laughs> like like they, they are chaotic. And I know uh-huh. this from the Ned's chaos. Mm-hmm. They are just chaos versus mm-hmm. like the Wizards cast who's like really buttoned up. And like when they say something, you know, potentially problematic, they're like, oh, my God, like right. we can't have that. You know, they're very like they're it's just different. Yeah. yeah. It's now, just different. were you aware um, like while you were on your show and even after all of the stories that people have now about Nickelodeon and uh, I was not Dan Schneider. No, no, I was not. I had no idea that was going on. Who's Dan Schneider? Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. he's an executive producer that that fucked it up. It was not good. A lot. No, not yeah. a good. Oh, yeah. Not he, a good he, guy. That's no. All. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And now he's like now he's I think he moved out of Nashville um, or moved to Nashville or somewhere. Yeah. 
maybe not Nashville, but, yeah. um, you know, I don't know what he's up to. Yeah. I, I never met him more than once. Mm-hmm. And that was at a Drake Bell birthday party. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the, so, interesting. the Nickelodeon, <laughs> yeah, the Nickelodeon kids didn't, did not have the, have the best. Some, some were fine. Some were, you know, yeah. some had bad, very bad experiences. Um, Ned, Ned's, however, they say they have a, had a really good, uh, experience with yeah. their creators. So That's great. Yeah. Right. I think it, I think in general, like it, it's from the creator down. Totally. Mm-hmm. It's like whoever's in charge. And I'm sure you can relate too. It's like when you have a very like um, powerful tone on set, it trickles down to whoever's like, you know, yeah. your employee. Right, right. So right. now back, like the connection between you guys and talking and kind of sharing these stories now, have you pinpointed a lot of times where maybe you've been at the, you were at the same event, but you have totally hmm. different experiences at those events or like you, you are you're like wait that like i i experienced that night completely different mm-hmm. than you did um okay well that would be really cool to start to to connect the dots i think we should start to do that you should do that you we're should trying like, to look at a timeline and be like with the same people right, you, at the moment oh, <laughs> <laughs> no you're still not sure about that you should <laughs> go back and be like were we at this radio disney awards like together like was what? that your boob in my face yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, girl. I think like we're really just getting to know each other on a fundamental level right now. Like, right. I don't know if you guys two po- like 1.0, how it felt for you to start to really connect. Were you guys friends before? No, we met pod, here. Or? No, we met here. So so I mean, it's like, yeah. And so, yeah. but now at Does this point, like time? we've known each other for seven years. Yeah. So it's like, we know each other really well. Um, yeah. There are still some things yeah. that we learn about each other. I Definitely. think I've ever, ever like sometimes so you often. whip out a new story I haven't heard before. It, yeah. I'm, I'm full of those. It's like a marriage. Um, right. yeah. It's exactly. a marriage. Exactly. I mean, Even after just... seven years, still surprises yeah. me. Like Girls, that type of thing. that's amazing. We were know, just talking about that with Christy's husband, though. Like, you know, he was, you know, we were saying, you know, we were talking about the show and some of the things we want to discuss. And, you know, people love the behind the scenes and hearing about our lives growing up. Of course, of yeah. course, that's a big part of us. But it's funny. I think we, I, I think I blocked a lot of that out. I don't know why. I think a lot of, I, I was young, mm-hmm. uh, first of all, so it's hard to even remember that far back. Um, and also I, I wasn't really partying um, and we were young, so there weren't a lot of parties. Like, I wish I could give you juicy stuff. I mean, we went to Tiger Cruise. Apparently she ended up at my house, but I was uh, partying. Okay. No, see, this is how bad. <laughs> I was on Broadway at the time. You know that, right? No, I don't think yeah. so. Oh, yes, of yeah. course, of course. I was but doing we were in bell. A hotel room. We were all Wait, in a hotel what? room. What? Yeah, we were. They all put us in a hotel room for the Tiger Cruise. And remember, it was actually on a boat. The premiere yes. was on a boat. Yes, it was on the Intrepid. It was They're with, in New York. It was so. with yeah. um, Hayden Panettiere. Yeah. Hayden yeah. Panettiere. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. Were, yeah. There's a picture of you, me, Raven, and Hayden Panettiere with um with the heads of disney and it's this really great picture of like all of us and i love that picture and i don't love what i'm wearing but we'll talk about it we like to talk about it yeah and it's also like we were young right how old if you were 19 i am i was in college maybe for sure. i was already 18 then. okay yeah i was in college and this is the thing it's we were uh out, you know we used to drink our brains are fried yeah. i don't remember shit no, i know no we well, google also, we google ourselves also like here, here's the thing. I'm just going to say it. Like when you asked me that question, I had things to say, but I truly right. feel like I can't say it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Maybe it's like, then what are you doing? Know. What are you doing with the podcast? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why do you have a podcast if you're not going to share? But it is like, I'm just scared, y'all. Yeah, I'm scared. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hug. yeah. Got you. That I'm scared, sense. but I, I think mean, what it's... doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, I think yeah. you have to. Yeah. What did you say to me? I said, it... well, go ahead. If she... it doesn't cost you anything, it's not going to be interesting to your listeners. But right? what better what she said, if it doesn't cost you anything, it's not worth anything. Mm. And I totally get that. I mean, and I want to share and I want to be open, but um, I got to just figure it out. I mean, I, I got it. I could tell you crazy things about the Tiger Cruise, if I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Don't tell that. You really can tell like, like I'm telling you. It sounds like, like she has a lot of things. Maybe just maybe just tell one. Right. Tell one. And I also think oh, though, like good. if you need <laughs> like it's it's hard to just be like um, you know, it's all gonna like be okay, but it is true. And there's a lot of cheesy sayings that I realize actually do help. Um mm. like when if you say something right and you tell a story or you said something you think it might offend somebody or or whatever it may be like things move so fast like I know, I they know. will care about that 
for us like that's a little bit no, that's really or the true. internet sure. and then they're on to the next thing because there is an oversaturation of things on yeah. the internet and we totally. all love it we're taking it all in but like right. people are moving past it really quickly like nobody's gonna beat it's you up really on it true. besides like maybe like the executives <laughs> you're scared of but like, <laughs> but, like I think I think what the you public. really want to say to me is, who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> no, no. Am I right? Not, not, not at right? all. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, not. No, but it's true, though. Not at all. I, mean, I, I get the I, same way, and people care way less about us. Like I get the same <laughs> way. And then, and then I remember, like, you know what? They're really not, like, there have it's been so things fast. that have happened where yeah. people, it's a, a shit storm for a little bit, and then... Yeah. Somebody else does something or says something, yeah. and then it's okay. Mm -hmm. So tell us about I the mean, Tiger like, Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, they see they're going back. To I it. know, right? I mean, to, yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess I don't know if oh I'm God, 18, wait, but what? I I went with my cousin. I brought my cousin. Okay. With me. Okay. And this is before we weed was legal. Okay. And oh, I mean, it, I don't know if this is a big deal, but oh, we snuck not. in our luggage oh. to the Tiger Cruise from California to from LA to New York. I want to like the biggest jar of weed, you guys. <laughs> like a jar full of it. This is a totally jar. okay. I know. <laughs> I'm listening. It's so, listen so cute. You know, this is such it's an so cute story. because the you amount know? of times I've talked about bringing weed to different countries and all this stuff, and I'm just going about my day acting yeah. like that's fine. Like Aussie. this is so I sweet. Think about, this. Awesome. <laughs> think about this. I'm still. I'm. St I'm play a Disney princess in a live version of you a, the Disney princess concert, you and princess. I don't know. I truly don't know the judge of men of things and people can fire you without telling you why yeah mm -hmm. you yeah. know what i'm saying and yep. it is scary but anyway it's out there i yeah so i took <laughs> and it isn't that big of a deal and also i don't want i think and if you want to cut it hey and if you want to cut it you can cut it after but weed is legal These now so, so you're okay sweet. <laughs> that's, sweet. that's really nice of them but but i it, i don't know if i smoked your weed did i smoke your weed no you didn't you, oh, you were already it. pretty drunk you didn't need it <laughs> <laughs> we snuck it in a big coffee thing though i don't know how my cousin and i got mm -hmm. it in i just think that's crazy yeah. but i also think it's like Weed really helps a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It helps yeah. cancer patients. It's therapeutic. Like yeah. the fact that, and it's also legal now. So mm -hmm. at least in California, and I wish it was legal everywhere. It's kind of like really annoying, but um, uh, I just, I, I don't know. I, I feel like people judge anything you do. But and people are going to find that it. relatable. Like you telling yeah. that story about you sneaking weed, they're going to go, oh my God, thank God she it's was human. sneaking weed across the country like yeah. we would have done at that age. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Like I think, right. yeah, there's going to be crazy people that judge you for that, but that's <laughs> on them. That's their own issue. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, it sounds know? like a personal problem. Right. Exactly. Like you should, exactly. They should go figure out their problems if they're going to get mad at you about that. Yeah. No, no, you know, I keep definitely. wondering, like the producer in me is like, can you guys hear our like, or is our audio like, like good enough for you? <laughs> I know. I've been thinking it's a whole five minutes. I've been thinking it this whole sound time. Great. <laughs> you sound really? great. You sound really? Yes. Yes. It's like me, man. Do you have we, an issue? We, we, we're, we're getting a thumbs Our producer GMA. saying is our good. Our producer's giving us a yeah, thumbs okay. up. Thanks, producer. We were doing GMA. Is his hair still blonde? It sure, yeah, it, it is. sure is. He looks really good with it blonde. Yeah. So they did this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. make his head yeah. fucking yeah. bigger. Boy chick. Yeah. Boy chick over here. I've yep. seen it with the dark hair, too. Yes, the blonde is very so nice. Yeah. It really does. It really does, actually. Not a lot of people can pull that off, but he is yeah. pulling it off. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Uh, the man does not too. need more compliments yeah, but yes no no, no. <laughs> well, he, i feel like the producers don't get enough love like our producer oh, so much oh. Love. maybe well, you don't know this producer maybe, then. You're, maybe you're a producer but <laughs> yeah our, our, maybe your producer doesn't have a gigantic head our, pro our producer is the star of the show <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we go to we do our live shows and all the signs are about our producer so I love oh, that. Yes. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. yes. I love that. Yeah. No, yes. he's great. He's great. We we do we. <laughs> it's funny we laugh because we do like these meet and greets at the beginning of the shows. We'll we'll talk to girls, and as girls line up to talk to us, they meet us, and then they line up to talk to Noah. They like, and that's an unorganized. Yeah. Like that's like. There's an organized line to come chat with us, but then they, on their own, line up to talk right. to Noah. Noah hosts his Noah's own meet and greet and on the side, and they yeah. all oh go goodness. crazy. And then wow. they get him. They get him too drunk. They buy him shots, and they're like. And then we told him like, you gotta like cool it a little bit. Like, of course, have fun, but like, you can't go missing in the middle of the show. We need you to produce the show. <laughs> And Dude. we had to put like a shot ban on him. But then girls made it even worse. They were like, oh, you have to don't 
don't listen to Rhea and Fran. Yeah, and they no, say, a drunk. Yeah, that yeah. literally a chant breaks out like that. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Is yep. Noah single? Yes, yes, he is. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, if he's with someone, that that, that person's not going to be happy. No, about no, this, no, but, no. He's single. That's okay. why he loves it even more. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, Take your face off, Noah. Yeah, Take yeah. your freaking face off. <laughs> we're going to have um, to clip that. Okay, wait. So, at least I want to ask you because, like, we were talking about that connection. You still have that connection with Dizzy. Now, I'm curious then, when Raven's home was a night concept, came mm. back, started again, was that something that was really exciting for you or was that something that you were more kind of scared about because it's like, oh, I'm a grown ass adult now. Do I want to go back into that world? Great question. Great. No, I had nothing going on. I was excited <laughs> about it. I needed the money. Um, I was living in New York. I was living paycheck to paycheck, working in restaurants, you know, like everybody yeah. else. Um and uh, was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be on TV again. Um, I was nothing but excited. I also like, I wasn't being honest with myself. I thought it was going to, I wasn't being, I did, how could I have known? I kind of thought I was going to just be like it was. And of course it wasn't. Um, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. We, we had to be mentors and it really, of course, wasn't about Raven and myself anymore as it shouldn't be. You know, it's a Disney Channel kids show um, and it caters to the children. But um, when I got the call, yeah, I was really excited. Unfortunately, I had lost my mother tragically um, a, like a few weeks later. Oh, no. I a didn't few, know that. Excuse me, a few weeks before, before the call. Oh, geez. no. And so it was hard to celebrate yeah. and it yeah. was hard to sort of not tell my mother about it, who was mm. always my biggest fan. Oh, I know. It geez. sucked. Um but so it was really weird. I was in New York thinking, you know what? I, I got that call and I was in New York listening to the uh, to Alicia Keys. Now you're in New York. Mm-hmm. Dreams are made of. There's nothing you can't do. And I thought, oh my gosh, there's nothing I can't do. My world's going to open up. But it's like, that's not how things go. <laughs> Everyone, I tell my students that all the time. I'm a teacher and it's like, it's a job. It's just a job. Of course, I was very lucky. It helped me a lot. It helped me financially to so where I'm in a much better place. And um you own you own a property. I do not own a property. Okay, <laughs> I own a podcast studio, and that shit is expensive. Totally, but I own, I own a property because my mom died. Oh, you know what I mean? That's oh, really is that why. Yeah, I mean, I'm rubbing her back. Like this is so creepy. Right? Why am I doing that? Right? Now? I, 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 really, back, right? I, I I really her. I love your dynamic, though. I have it to is. say, like you That's guys have a say. really you fantastic guys do have dynamic. A, uh, have a. <laughs> <laughs> No, I told you, please, we need that for the thumbnail. She burps a lot, by the way. <laughs> like, do. what is, is that? that? No. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to sit closer together. You're giving me anxiety. I, I know. I know. We, used to, we, used, we to used to sit, sit really sit close. Way closer. Like, now our we studio's got these, different now, and these chairs we thought are so big. Be, we thought we'd be cool. Like, you know, all the cool <laughs> podcasts have, like, these big, comfy chairs, and they look comfy. Are you on, talking about Caller Daddy? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. are they look massive. They look comfy on video, and then you get them, and then you sit, and you're like, there's no comfortable way to sit in these. There's no there's comfortable no way to sit in them. Way it's that you're not like flattering whatsoever. Because you're always I love like, Caller Daddy. I love Chicks in the Office. I love Burner, uh, Hannah Burner. I, oh, so I love, love Hannah all Burner. the girlies. I love you all. I think there's space for all of us. Yes. We all need to be supporting each other. Yeah. Um, but I got to be honest, like that, sh- those chairs <laughs> that Caller Daddy has. <laughs> she, it looked, did you ever see that show growing up? We're millennials, but like, no, it was big, like comfy, the big comfy couch. Yep. The clown, the lady. With mm-hmm. the little yeah. nose, did you not see it? I saw oh, somebody I do a big, Halloween big outfit, like couch. a hot Halloween outfit of that, <laughs> with a couch attached to the body. Or something. No, it has the clown lady, and yeah. and I was like, now I want to be that mm-hmm. like sexy version of right. that. Oh man, I digress. I digress. No, no but yeah, these chairs suck. Honestly, happen. they don't like they're, they're like Fram saying. There's, they're, yeah, they look great, but there's no flattering way to sit in them because like a comfortable human being would sit in these like this, right? Like, uh, like you need a pillow, back. right? But you like pillow in your can, nobody can like really if you're s- sitting like this, like in any outfit besides a sweatshirt, is just not yeah. great. See, they're very good at keeping the mics right up to their face. Yeah, yeah you know, better. I do that Can to I hide just be my double chin. About these chairs, though. Yeah. <laughs> what? Everyone's obsessed with these chairs. Like we have them too. Can Can you see? I they're 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 bouclé. Yeah, right. the okay, bouclé. Yeah. Who started bouclé? Okay, so the, the Kardashians started it, right? Like everybody has a furry ass couch in their homes now. Mm. Everybody, everybody, every famous person. I think it's because of the Kardashians. And truly, everybody has those neon signs. They got yeah. the neon sign saying whatever you know. My mm-hmm. I went to school today. I've got yeah. a toilet. <laughs> Something. Yeah. It's just something so mm. random. Live, laugh, love. Party yep, with yep, me. Totally. Mm-hmm. La- yep. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and we were talking about that, and it's like I kind of can't wait till this stuff like 
goes out. What right. do you I feel want? Like it's all a trend and a trend. Yeah. What do I want? All you could do whatever you want. This. <laughs> Yeah, we can do whatever we want. It's just so funny, like talking about that. And then it's like, but you know that that trend's going to go too, and we're all going to do something else. It's smart to go with the trend. Doesn't really have Pivot. to. We have to keep mm. keep it current. But yeah. um, I just think it's so funny. Everyone got obsessed with these. What are they called? Like, <laughs> Oak clay. Yeah, but aren't they like they're like cloud chairs or they yeah call yeah, yeah like a cloud couch yeah, yeah. i actually yeah, do yeah, yeah. like the feeling of this one like if this yeah. was straight up fuzzy i wouldn't like it like if it was like actually like yeah you know like velvet or yeah, yeah. oh i don't like yeah. It. yeah it's just like kind of like carpet material yeah mm-hmm. you know but mm-hmm. but but it's, it's like nice. sitting but on the ground but in a right. chair exactly Exactly. <laughs> and then everybody's got them. So they must be, they must be great. Um, I love it. Wait, so I had one. Oh, I had one other Disney thing that I wanted to ask you guys because I think. Who? Yeah, what? The big D. The big one D. last big D. <laughs> um, the final big D. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, Sounds was like a there, bachelorette trip. I know, hashtag. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> was there a right. young. Disney star that you guys either met or interacted with when they first started and now they've become like big stars or whatever that you were like this person they have it like they're gonna be incredible I I knew that was Shia I totally knew that oh really oh fuck yeah I knew Shia was gonna be a huge star did you know he was gonna be a huge um (laughs) yes I also knew he was I did yeah I knew he was gonna be troubled uh because of his uh, upbringing yeah Yeah. sadly you know what I'm saying right here River City yeah (laughs) Yeah. the capital T he's trouble yeah (laughs) sorry she had a crush on him I did Uh, I mean who didn't I I I feel like yeah I know he had like a sexy face yeah Yeah. and he was Jewish and I'm a Jew and I was like mom he's Jewish (laughs) mama he's a Jew (laughs) I like the way you say Jewish. He's a Jewish girl. (laughs) He celebrates the Judaism. No, honestly, when we went to Tiger Cruise, I was like, oh my God, he's Was he there? Yes. Oh God. I think that must have been one of the last times I saw him. Am I allowed to ask, like, did you kiss him ever? Did you kiss him? Oh my God, did you kiss him? No. Was it at my party? No, he was. <laughs> was it the weed? He was already kind of, I, I think, kind of conceded that event mm. already. Mm. You know, he was already up himself. There, mm. I had no shot. I felt so inferior mm. at the time. And now looking back on it, it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because yeah. yeah, I mean, you guys like, and and there's all the Disney, ch- there's all like the Disney Channel. They loved putting everybody together for things like to a certain point, right? Yeah, occasionally, not, not but the big, you know, the Disney Channel games, oh, like the all those kinds of things, things. Yeah, throw them together. Us. Did you do Disney? No, Channel I know games? Annalisa I did. did one. Annalise, you definitely, did Annalise Disney definitely did. Were one. you on the green team? She was. Mm. I was the red. I was gonna say red. red. I think Zac Efron was on her team. Mm. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god, that's you, why that's you, why people know about it. That's yeah. the only reason people know you about met it. Zach Efron, we need to talk about people that. People ask me about those things that that day She's all like, the time. I and I people, yeah, I don't. It was one day in one day. In so and many so, days. Yep, yep. And it was work. It wasn't yeah. work actually playing games. Also, I hate <laughs> games. I like watching TV. <laughs> so, like, I mean, talk about authenticity. Yeah. I love it. No, I but, love it. But that's so interesting. Like I'm trying to think of Do you I actually like, compete against each other? <laughs> Uh, no, in no. more in, in more ways than one. Yeah. Well, not in those games. But I remember growing up, and I remember Miley Cyrus. I I don't remember thinking about um, Selena Gomez or Ariana Grande. I remember oh, I was God. doing a really? musical. I was doing a musical in. Um, uh, Texas and she was I was doing meet me in St. Louis in check Texas and she came to see me in the show because she was rehearsing 13 on oh Broadway yeah 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 and she came up to me she was like obsessed she was like oh my god you're so amazing you're so amazing and I think back on it now and it's like oh my wow. gosh look where she's you know Ooh, what I mean it's like that's cool yeah that, that is, is cool. cool but but I do remember auditioning people so, sorry people were auditioning for um Hannah Montana and I was already on that so even so that I had young kids parents asking me to coach their kids and I was coaching their kids coaching their kids and then I heard Miley Cyrus was auditioning I told those kids' parents, don't pay me. That kid's <laughs> never going to get it. You know, <laughs> there's no reason for me to coach them. Miley Cyrus is here. Like, it's over. Nepotism. Nepotism. Yeah. <laughs> but also, she's she's incredibly talented. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. man, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I could really funny. listen to you guys talk all day. I'm not going to lie. I know. I know. Well, I love very you guys. Enjoyable. And we, we love I was you guys. Just so excited that we got to be able to, like, be able to connect mm-hmm. in this way. And I'm I'm really just proud of everything that you guys are doing. I mean, seven years is like insane. I can't even imagine. 
Thank I you. Really yeah, she's it's amazing. A long time. It's a long time. Do you feel old? Just yeah. kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's it's funny. We, we always joke about, and I, I know, like you you just grow up. You just not even grow up fast, but it's just you you you're working a lot. So when you mm. you have to like remind mm. yourself, like I I I am young. Mm. <laughs> People like you know like it's, they get confused how old I am all the time because I basically I started when I was 19. So it was like I wow. had like one year in between basically between high school and like working here and wow. so at first I was always like oh my god she's so young she's so young and now that I've been working here for seven years now it's like oh my god she's like 40 but I'm 26 so it's like like I think people either <laughs> think like, you're not, like people in think, internet years yeah no 40. right so people <laughs> either think that I'm like old, way older than I am or like still mm. really young like you know yeah, like yeah. it's like because i guess like i start like it's weird like we did a serious xm show like a radio show and i was 19. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Like wow. so cool. i know that's so great yeah, so you're a child crazy. star too right listen i wish she always she <laughs> i i she was she tried listen we'll start this up again that's, good. that's a whole nother time. guys that's a whole nother episode i was episode. a child we'll actually have, model yeah, and i auditioned a whole for other episode. many <laughs> disney shows um but you know i didn't make it i didn't make it I did not make wait, it. Wait, what? Wait, what did you say? She I, auditioned I, for many. Disney. I auditioned oh, for many. Which, tell us, give us, give it to Shake us. Shake it what? up, Ant Farm. You know. See, but Shake like, it I, up. interesting. Did you get? How was that process? Did you get callbacks? No, not for those <laughs> shows. Oh, <yeah. laughs> no worries. I, I think you would have been great, especially no. on Shake It Up. <laughs> I was on Shake It Up, and I got to tell you. It I didn't. I didn't shaking that stir. Yeah, but yeah, it was <laughs> not, not, not shaken. It was. Yeah. Yeah. No. Those everything happens for a reason. Because honestly, look at the path that you. Yeah. It's all oh. led uh, all of us to. I mean, I just think this is a great empowering vehicle for women to be able to like sit down and find community sometimes with each other, collaborating yeah. and stuff like that. Like I personally just really love what we're doing, and you know, we do have merch. It's coming. Love so it. we haven't launched it yet, but like send it our way. Yeah. Amazing. Please. We'll we'll buy it. Because you bought oh ours. God, no. Oh, no, we see, have to buy it great. in return. Yeah, that is true. Yes. Thank you. Thank okay. You. I need to buy more so, merch then. <laughs> okay, what can we put you down for? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like Girl Scout cookies. Yes. A sweatshirt, a t shirt, a hat. Right. <laughs> and next time next time when we're in New York, we do have to hang out in person. Yes, oh, we I do have to do it in person. Absolutely. That would be so much fun. Stop going to the Hamptons. Y'all are Family. I've yeah, never should. been to the Hamptons. I go to Wait, the Jersey Shore. Just, where were you? You were in Fire Island? I, oh, I listened no. to your pod. You were like somewhere for um, like the I was, summer. She was. In, I, I went to Montauk for one weekend. Okay. That was it. Weekend. Montauk. You, I went to Montauk you, you for, went to one Montauk weekend. for one weekend. Weekend. Normally I'm not there. It was no. one time. Yeah. I went to the Jersey yeah. Shore. That's <laughs> way opposite of that. I love That's it. it. Jersey. I, love but I don't. Any place is more like fancy than like um, me in the pickup line. Yeah of like the school oh. you know, like, oh. come on guys well, that's true that's true did you um see summer house <laughs> in montauk did you visit with anybody from summer house like hannah oh we love hannah we, we lo do love hannah. Yeah. i do love hannah i did not see anybody in my outing um do you guys just, watch just the just the just she the does tic, she watches the tiktok the girlies the tiktok girlies she were out and about the at, at surf lodge <laughs> so they're once. everywhere but um, no, uh, uh, and all the it's Bravo shows are the, the Bravo shows are are great. Oh, you, just, honestly, oh, so you so watch great. all of them? Yes, I love oh. them. I'm obsessed. What's your favorite it. one? Mass oh, God. honestly, these oh. are your people. Yeah, below deck. Below really? deck. I mean, well, because I do you know it's everyone's favorite. It's their highest rated. And it's because so much happens. So much goes on. There's so much conflict. Yeah. So many characters. So much small like a small view. There's vessel. danger. There's obviously mm. relationships, gossip, but like people hurt themselves. And yeah, I, I mean, I love all the Real Housewives, but right now, just because Below Deck's on and I watched it last night, yeah. um, which I want to talk to you yeah. about. Um, I tried I'm, to watch so Selling it. OC and it was fucking awful. That one's oh, cool. I just oh, I tried to watch I just finished the whole Second gotta, season. You can't do that. You gotta watch Vanderpump. You gotta watch Summer House. Yes, Southern yes. Charm, The Housewives, mm -hmm. Selling Sunset, mm -hmm. and Selling OC. They bring people in because you know you love to see those beautiful houses and like yes. what all that stuff is. But, but the, the show is so, the shows are so the 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 drama <laughs> itself is so fake. 
I know it's so fake and I get so mad. It's so repetitive. It's yeah. the same conversation. It's the same conflict the entire episode. I know. And also they the show the houses like in the two seconds. Fight. They're yeah. just going like, to start watching reality. I need to, we need to do this. This is a passion of hers that she feels safe in. I need to honor that. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. you can bring her in, bring her in. <laughs> and then you could do you. reality TV <laughs> recaps on your podcast. Yes. Okay, we're going to do that. And yes. that'll be a safe space. It's always fun. <laughs> thank guys, you. That's what ladies, we're gonna do. thank you so much for yeah, joining thank us. Thank you so much. We um, love you guys. It's you. been so cool to see the, the the podcast and and also, you know, Chrissy, just the whole network in general, too, is really cool. Thank and you. it's so perfect mm-hmm. for, you. honestly, you know, this generation where the, those shows are so special to everybody and to relive them all is so fun. I think it was just a genius, great idea. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And it's been a- awesome to see. So thank you both yes. for joining us. This is amazing. Yay. Big Name Bitches comes out on Thursdays. Thursdays and you can mm-hmm. listen wherever you listen to podcasts, correct? Yes. yes. Amazing. Yes. And, co- and follow us, you know, because we're yes. just starting with our socials. But overall, follow them everywhere. Guys, yes. You. You'll find we out. We love Noah too. Yes. Yeah. You're right, You'll Noah. find out more stories about the Tiger Cruise <laughs> on <laughs> their <Someday>. podcast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you will. Thank, Thank you guys, guys so much. You guys are Thank awesome. You. You're lovely. You're lovely. Bye, guys. Thanks, Bye. Ladies. Bye. All right, that wraps up today's episode. We love you guys so much. We hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribes. And keep subscribing. We love you, and we'll talk to you on Monday. Oh, by the way, reminder that tickets for um, Charlotte and Philly are still on sale. Yes. Chicago is officially sold out. Thank you guys so much to everybody who bought tickets. We cannot wait. So excited. These shows are going to be so much fun. So exciting. They're like our biggest shows yet, so we really can't freaking wait. Uh, so keep, you know buy well don't keep buying tickets if you haven't bought tickets then then buy a ticket yeah. and come and if, if you were on the fence and if you're on the fence this is the push is a little nudge to buy a ticket and if you bought a ticket thank you so much and we can't wait to see you yay 